Hello, Joshua Crary. Uh, welcome to the stream, dude. Make yourself at home. I am going to view all the fails. Like, I'm trying to 100% this game. The only one that's proving, the only thing that's proving a little difficult about this is the bios. Because there are so many goddamn characters in this freaking game.
Hello, Puppy Lover Gaming. Welcome to the stream, dude. Make yourself at home. All right. Well, if everybody's ready. Oh, hold on. No, he's just that. Uh, well, also keep in mind, uh, Ryan, that you're not a mod. I appreciate that, but just, you know. No, he's letting you know, Puppy Lover Gaming, that I just don't, that I just don't like spoilers or backseat gaming. That's the thing. He's just letting you know so, so that you don't accidentally do it. It's just so you know, and knowing is half the battle. Giado! Sorry. Anyway, if everybody's ready, it's showtime. Hey there everyone, Omega Snake here. And sorry all about my hair. I woke up about half an hour ago. But anyway, uh I hope I hope everyone is having a great day and I hope that and I hope that my stream will help make it a little uh, make it a little better. Because right now we are going to finish up the second half of completing the mission for the Henry Stickman collection. I was not able to finish it up because uh, it was getting pretty late for me. <coughs> Sorry, it was getting pretty late for me, so uh, I had to, I had to, I had to basically put, uh, wrap it up yesterday, and hopefully we can finish it today, uh, and I'm going to be 100%ing it, that means getting all the bios, all the fails, all the achievements, everything. So, yeah. Um, yeah, there's no reason to waste any more time, so... Let's get so let's jump back into the Henry Stickman collection and let's have some laughs. Oh, uh, what do you mean, Joshua Car Curry? Back into it. Where was it that I played the first half? Uh, it it is also on my it is it is basically in my uh, on my channel. Like, don't worry, worry this the first half. Uh, the the rest of the Henry Stickman collection. If you haven't seen it yet, it is back on the. Uh, it is on the. It's on my channel. Uh, the, uh, the stream, uh, the stream can be watched, I'm um, on this channel, on my YouTube channel, and, and, <clears throat> so yeah, you don't have to worry about it. If you, if you missed your favorite, re if you missed your favorite, um, sorry, if you finished, if, bleh, I cannot talk, bleh. if you missed your favorite ending, do not worry. I probably, I already, probably already reacted to it 
in the first half. I did react to a good amount of them. Today, I'm finishing up and wrapping up the rest. Hey. Hey, Mr. McMowan. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, if you don't see it here today, I probably did it yesterday. Let's see. Uh, here are the ones that I've already did. Did. Here are the ones I already did. I did. I got Top Hat King, Free Man, Triple Threat, Little Nest Egg, Pardon Pals, and Top Hat Recruits, Master Bounty Hunter, Capital Gains, and Revenged. So I am missing. Oh, I'm missing seven. Let's see, one, two, so yeah, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine done, so it's time to get the other seven. Jesus, he, Jesus, Puffball, you went all out for this game, didn't you? All right, now let's see. Again, the betrayed, betrayed is only for one route. International Rescue Operative. I already did that. Did not do this. Government Supported Private Investigator. Let's do it. Hey, General. Ah, perfect timing, boys. Been waiting for you two to get here. Let me just get right to it. We've discovered that the remainders of the Top Hat Clan have been seen building some kind of rocket. They've been gathering the remaining members and supplies here in the jungle. If they're able to get this station into orbit, they'll be impossible for us to take down. Now, I know you don't know us anything, Henry, but we could really use your help on this one. Help us out with this one and you'd be, we'd be owing you a big, big ol' favor. Now you and Charlie have worked well together in the past, so we figured you'd be the perfect men for this operation. Yeah, what do you say, Henry? You can count on us, General. Now we're really putting all our potatoes in one sack on this one, so don't let us down, boys. <clears throat> hey, I know uh, we just started and all, but uh, I think I'm getting targeted by a Sam turret. Yeah, oh yeah. If you could just go ahead and... Uh, deal with that yeah cupcake is this a big by reference that it blows up ah screw it <laughs> oh. worth <laughs> okay yeah I think it is puppy lover gaming but uh I thought it was gonna do I thought it was going to do a My Little Pony Equestria Girls thing. Because, thing, for those who don't know, in Equestria Girls, uh, Pinkie Pie has the has the ability to charge up uh, either glitter or sprinkles or something like that, that and make them explode on contact. So, that's what I was, that's what I was thinking they were going with, but no, it, it was just eating it. Well then. Sorry about that, Charles. Ah! Saved you, Charles! <laughs> okay, that, that, that clearly didn't work. Okay, let's try this. Did that uh, freaking war! <laughs> nice. The rocket will be launching very soon. Are you kidding Please me? Get on board immediately. I will not hesitate to leave you behind. Oh, we really gotta get you in there. I should be able to get you in there with this. Invisible bridge. Alrighty, I've uh, teleported that platform in there for you. Yeah, go ahead and just uh, make your way across then. Oh. Oh. 
I had a feeling. Oh, no, 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 no. He didn't put it there. <laughs> what was the point of an invisible bridge? You mind telling me that one? This one might work. Alright, All right, Rick, uh, go ahead and grab onto the, the thing, and then I'll helicopter you across. Okay. Simple solution. <laughs> oh man, it looks like every member of the Topback Clan is on here. So, looking at a schematic here, um, if you get to the engine room, you can shut down the engine, and then uh, the rocket won't be able to take off, and then they'll all be stuck in here. So, I'll cause a distraction while you make a run for it to the engine room, got it? Okay. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, like, I had a feeling that trapeze was gonna work. Like, I had a feeling that the trapeze was gonna work because it was like, it's eh, a simple solution. What's this gonna do? Alright, I know they have one of these aboard. I think I can remote hack into it. Look at me! I am the dancing robot! Oh yeah! Check me out! I cannot believe I got it right on the first try! Yeah, just uh, keep heading up those stairs and you'll hit that engine room in no time. I guess this rocket has an internal engine room. Uh, it probably like manages the electronics or something. I don't know. I'm not a rocket doctor. Huh. Anyways, do your thing, buddy. Yep. Let's see. It would, it would be too, this would be too simple, wouldn't it? Simple solution! Huh. Hey! Damn! I'm sorry, Charles! <laughs> I did no, off does not stand for offense! What the heck? <laughs> Oh god, I feel I feel really bad about that one. Okay, wrench. Seems like the engine is ready sooner than we thought it'd be. Let's get out of here. You know what? I should have seen that coming. This doesn't seem right. And that was only a level 2 engine! That's the- <laughs> You know what? I play enough TF2, I should have known that was gonna happen. That was my bad. Like, seriously, I play Engineer! I mean, I do play Engineer from time to time, so I should have known that was gonna happen. Uh... You know what? I thought about it after I clicked on it. Sad- Sadly. Seems like we're having some problems well. with the engine. Can we get the crew to look at that? Uh oh, I better get out of uh, here. Shouldn't we be helping with the engine? Nah, they're sending some from the storage. Nice. Oh, right. Enabling that engine is definitely going to buy you some extra time. Now, here's what I'm thinking. You can get up to the cockpit. You can gain control of the rocket, disable it, and lock everyone inside. Then I'll call in the reinforcements and we'll make these arrests easily. Pretty good plan, right? Yeah, sounds like a pretty good plan. Uh, painting portal. All right, Mario 64. Da 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 da. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. Oh! Hey. Need <laughs> one by one of mushrooms. I said Mario 64, but god dang, I didn't think I was that was gonna be literal.
Okay, not that way. Swap. Okay, I don't see how this one can. I don't see how this. How bad this can work. What? Oh shit! This gadget that actually works. Did you fix the engine? Why, well, hold it right there. Wait a minute. I know you. You're the guy that arrested the airship division. And now you're here to bring down the rest of us. Henry, are you in trouble? If you're in trouble, say flank steak. No, wait. If you're in trouble, say nothing. Yeah, I still can't tell. Oh, actually, I can see you from here. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. Let alone a rock. I got your back, buddy. Uh... Uh, he was a pretty bad shot last time. Sleep dart! One sleepy boy coming right up. Then, and I had to dig through mountains of paperwork to find it. And now, of course... Huh. Sort of glass. Alright. <laughs> Why not? leaders left details for this plan, and I had to dig... Yeah. Fucking hell! Are okay, you serious? Then, let's... <clears throat> You did it! Now you just gotta lock it up. Okay. Alright, time to call in the reinforcements. I can't believe uh, that! Sir, you might want to get us out of here. We got the government coming right now on our front door. Sir? Hello? At least open the locks and let us get to our weapons. Well, shoot. Henry! Yo! Nice work, man. Yeah, this is, uh, this is every last remaining member getting hauled off. Fine Every's work indeed, boys. You two really do make a fine team. I'm promoting you both into special covert ops agents. What? Henry's not even enlisted. Well, he is now, unless he doesn't want it. You'll be running a lot more missions together with Charlie. You know what? Special Brover Ops! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Yeah, Charles is definitely a bro. He is definitely a bro. Okay. Oh, man, I missed a lot. Alright, so what was panel gonna do? Shock the shit out of me? Hey! So, it kind of looks like the sand turret's shooting all of its missiles, but that can't be right. I just wanted to make sure... Kinda seemed like the opposite thing to do. Okay, glad I didn't pick that one before. Alright, what, what was Jetpod gonna do? That jet pod. Ow! Uh, hey, it's your Uber driver here. I'm outside. Ow! Landed right on my head! What was TV broadcast gonna do? Hey guys, come check this out! Someone's streaming TV out here! Really? Getting up sick, Jeremy! Uh. Oh. Uh, what? It's a good show! You guys might wanna cover your ears. Alright, I'm about to fire a subsonic wave. Should stun everyone that hears it, so you might want to cover your ears. Okay. Alright, coast is clear. Must have had it set to 11. Ow. That was more of a pressure wave. What does bug juice do? Okay then. Oh, shit, that didn't last long. Hmm. I guess it only lasts for an hour in bug gears. Okay. He 
He's gonna shoot me, isn't he? I got the sniper that spots out bad guys. So I'll just take him out from here. Don't worry, there's there's zero chance that I'll hit you with this. Okay. Uh oh, I'm losing control. No, oh course. boy, no, this no. is bad. This is really oh, oh boy. Oh I man, and I dropped my sniper rifle. Come on. Some. All right, I almost got control. Oh. Almost got it. Oh, there well, we go. No, no, not. Let's see you fire a gun while piloting a helicopter. You know what? That's fair. That is completely fair. Fair. I actually thought he was going to shoot me with that. And then he was like, like, there is, like, I actually got the special scope that sees bad guys. So there is no way I'm going to hit you. And yeah. All right. All right, new, all right, new mission. Yeah, at least he didn't shoot me, but yeah, like, uh, that actually made a lot of sense, actually. Be right back, though. I'm going to grab a drink. So, let's see, what does Ghost Inmate do? Alright. I always enjoy, I enjoyed that one, Colin. Oh no. Message to all yeah. recent players, I'm hosting a test for Most recent message. This is a Code 12 broadcast. The remnants of the Top Hat Clan have been seen mobilizing near the Dogo Bogo jungle. Rumors are they are attempting to launch an orbital satellite of some kind. Unconfirmed reports are telling us they are shipping their assets by train to this base in the jungle. These assets include all treasures and artifacts they have stolen throughout the years. Now these treasures are worth quite a lot of money, so we gotta make sure... Oh, no stowaways here. This is Checkpoint Inspection Team 5. We are all clear. Uh, roger that. We'll be heading out here in just a second. Box! Well, I suppose we should hop in, huh? How did we lose one? I think we should throw it in the cut, just to be safe. Ah. Dang it! Never underestimate laziness. Man, that one look that would look like it was gonna work too. Alright, prop. Well, I suppose we should hop in. Yeah, it's about time. Hey, was that bush always there? Oh, I'm not sure. I'll give it the test. <laughs> Ouch! Oh, it was a fake. Well, fire is the best way to test for fake props. Prop hunt! No, Ryan, MGS was not lying to me. They were just lazy. Okay, okay, badger cat. Well, I suppose we should hop in. Yeah, it's about time. Alright, I'll get the door. <laughs> Warpat! Hey, you, at least you were standing right Someone next there. to me. Hey, you there! <laughs> Never, Justin! Anyway. Whoa, check out this crazy coat rack. Oh, look at me, I'm a little hat holder person. Ooh, can I take your hat? Ooh, I wonder what's out the window. <laughs> Ow! Oh, it broke. Ah! What the 
heck? I actually lost my head! Sorry, I had some meat. Stuck in my teeth. That's it? Maybe they won't notice me. Uh, excuse me. Hey, Assassin's uh, Creed! I was saving that seat for my friend. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey, there you are. Yeah, no, this guy just took a seat. I don't know. The way on my train, it's more likely than you think. Yup! Oh. Nice sunset. Pretty very- it's very pretty actually. Oh shit, there's a tunnel! Yay! I can't believe that worked. I just clicked it because I panicked! Okay, okay, there we go. Alright, lads! Good thing I know how to edit. Up. Let's get everything packed up before it gets too late. Store anything in this cube. It's got virtually limitless stores thanks to its creative use of pocket dimensions. Leaf mode. Just place these on any object and they'll turn into a Oh, it's Animal Crossing! Transport the biggest things with relative ease. Suck pack. It'll vacuum up anything you aim it at. That's a guarantee. Is that the, uh... Poltergeist? Hey, you know what? This is for you. This is for you Animal Crossing fans. Whoops. Whoops. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Picking them all at once. <laughs> Good thinking. Uh, hold on one sec. Have you seen, uh, completing the mission? What? Completing the mission. Henry Pittman. No. I, I just want to show you this one fail. It's Animal Crossing. See. Uh, suck pack. Nice. Mission complete. Ha ha. I'm out of here. Okay, everyone, today's the day. Why is it empty in here? Cleaned them out! Ooh, let's see what they had in there. Uh, let's see, a lot of gems, uh, gold bone. Oh, the poultry pup would like that one. Uh, fossil. Ooh, diamond helmet. Very nice. 
The golden frying pan? Uh, let's see. I think that's the stone mask. Ooh, they had Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. Very nice. Let's see. Go golden toilet. Uh, let's see. Pretty sure that's Hyrule Castle. Waterfall. Golden guns. A lot of gold bars. Uh, star. Is that Henry's amiibo? Probably. Yeah, a lot of gold, a lot of good stuff. All right, hey, this is gonna hurt. Oh, yeah, that hurt. Last stop, brick wall. Whoop. Oh, I get it. That's really gonna affect your rating. Is that Oregon Trail? Is that is that either Oregon Trail or is that uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon? I'm not sure which. Oh, thank you, Puppy Lover Gaming. I really appreciate someone saying that. Window. No. Oh. Close the window of opportunity has passed. Ha! Well then, what was the infinity gonna do? Suck me in? Full? Hey! This is why you don't buy things used. Ah, uh, I guess the previous I guess the previous owner uh, had a ship in there? Huh. Oh, I guess it was from the from fleeing the complex, wasn't it? Wait, is it? Does it say the the SS Annie? Huh. Hmm. Anyway. I already did that. Let's see. Presumed dead. Let's see. Presume dead. Let's see how this one looks. Let's see how this one goes. Presume dead. The orbital station allows the topic land to easily raid any place on Earth. What? Charles? Henry! Henry! I heard you die! Nope. Ah, man. The Top Hat Clan has been causing a bunch of problems for me lately. Really? Yeah, ever since they got that orbital station set up, they've been super strong. Now that I think about it, you and I made a pretty good team in the past. I bet we could take them out. It's starting to get personal. Well, what do you say? You want to help me take them out for good? Sure. Awesome. All right, follow me. I have a way we can get into space. Okay, Charles. Anyone up? Secret government prototype. What do you think? Ooh. Well, there it is. All right. Anyone else like Charles? Oh, this is so exciting. It's just like last time. Mm. Beat me up, Scotty. Yeah, I always wanted to say that. Right aboard. Should be a piece of cake. Oh. Hi. Hey! Welcome aboard, now get out. Well, it was simple, but... Uh... Air cannon! Right, sounds weird, but this air bubble's gonna keep you breathing till you get to the side wings, alright? Uh-huh. It's also really sturdy, so you don't have to worry about it popping on you. Okay, good. 
Unfortunately, it doesn't move very fast. Still working that one out. Mm. Yeah, don't worry. I'll keep you company till you get there. Shouldn't be a problem. What kind of movies do you like? You used up all the air already? You glutton. Damn it! Uh, trash ball. Uh, space suit and hide in this ball of trash. What? It's a good idea. Trust me. Okay. See, I told you it was a good idea. Okay. Not bad okay. No clue you're there now. Okay. Well, I'm gonna you, stick I, back here though, so wrong. they don't detect me. Should still be able to help you get inside from here though. Okay. Uh huh. Do it! You Just do it! No. This calls for some bold action. I'm the bold action man. No, no, not again! Warning. Critical damage to core. Please evacuate. Wait, did that actually fucking work? Did that actually- I always wanted to do that. Warning. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. I should probably find a way off the station before it explodes. Yeah. Oh, looks like the door is jammed. This is the only way through. I can't believe that freaking war. <laughs> That's what makes it even better. Oh god. Oh, I love it. All right, let's One, go. One, two, three. Are you lifting with your back? Let's see. I think I can hack this panel to get the door to open. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. Damn. Bruh. <laughs> I love this guy. Oh, I love Charles. Uh, logic out the window. Yeah, basically our game, but yeah, just bruh. Uh, can we just... Uh, can we just give a round... Can we just give a round of applause for Charles? Like, come on. Come on. You love this guy, right? Uh, can we get a we love you Charles in the in the chat guys? We love you Charles. <laughs> uh. Actually, where's this bio? Charles Calvin. He's experienced with he is experienced with multiple different types of flying vehicles. He gets brought in for special missions only. Huh, wonder why. Okay. Alright. Simple solution is simple. Bet that leads somewhere on the other side. Really? We're running out of time. Damage oh, to Please evacuate immediately. Uh, shoot. Let's see, uh... I, I know I saw something. somewhere on the other side. Crawling through the vents. These oh boy. We're running out of time. Uh-huh. Damage to core. Please evacuate immediately. I knew it! Uh, I guess we take that one. <laughs> Reverse thruster engaged. Hey! Why do we even- why do they even have that lever? Come on! Ah, well, that was intense. Yeah. Ah, can't wait to go home. Huh? Oh, you! Uh. 
No! Don't worry about it. I'll find another way. Charles! Henry? You there? Ah, uh, man. That roughed me up. Got him, though. There's gotta be another escape pod around here somewhere. We did it, though. We got him. Uh, it was a pretty good plan. I could say it was the greatest. That station's been destroyed. Excellent news. What's wrong? <laughs> Damn it, that actually made me fucking cry. Don't do that. Don't do that, man. Oh god, that actually hurt. Oh man. Oh damn it, that would actually hurt. Oh shit. Oh, oh man, that would oh that would actually hurt. Give me a second, guys. Oh my oh my god. Oh. This time I will allow us a loot, Arcane. Just... Oh man, no, I need a second. Hot. Oh god, I actually need a second. That one, that one, that one hurt. That one actually made me cry. No joke. That actually made me cry. Holy god. Oh shit. That, that one actually hurt me. <laughs> Goddess, don't, don't use that emoji when I'm actually sad. It makes you, it makes it feel like you are laughing at my actual pain. Like, that one hurt. That, that one legit hurt me. Oh my god. I, I gotta give it to Puff, I gotta give it to Puffball. I gotta give it to Puffball for, a, for actually making an emotional one. Uh, like, they, they know how to make, they know how to make a, they know how to make a pain. They know how to do emotion, emotion right when they do. Oh my god. Alright, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, let's, uh, let's do the fails. Just drop me off. Alright, I'll just swing by, I guess, and drop you off. Hey, Chief. We're detecting a government ship approaching. Okay. So blow them up already. Yay! The dude straight up drove in the lasers. I was actually wondering what Hot Knife was gonna do. You feel that button there on your helmet? Go ahead and press that. It's a knife that's so hot it can cut through any material. You dropped it, didn't you? Yep. Butter? Pizza! 
<laughs> okay, was not expecting that. Oh, I got the achievement. Oh, uh... Oh, hey, Chi. What's up? Super accurate okay. laser shot? This might make you a little nervous, but I'm gonna fire a super accurate laser shot right next to you. What? It'll make a hole you can climb through and get inside, you know? We're under attack. Maximize the shield. Oh, yeah! Hi! Jesus Christ! That is straight up death right there. Hey, G, watch this. You know what? No. This calls for some bold action. I'm the bold action. Oh, man. God, that again! Warning. Critical damage to core. Please give I can't believe that worked. <laughs> Seriously. I've always wanted to do that. Warning. Yeah. <laughs> I bet. Anyways, I should probably find a way off the station before it explodes. Oh, looks like the door is jammed. This is the only way through. I bet this vent leads somewhere on the other side. I cannot believe you, Charles. Oh boy, we're running out of time. Damage to core. Please evacuate immediately. Luxury? Got room for two more? Oh hey! Rude! Wanna make sure I got I got them all. Got room for two more? Ah H E Hey, Chief. Honey, I... I want you to see this, too. Well, hold on. That was intense. Ah, can't wait to go home. Huh? Ah, Don't worry about it. I'll find another way. Henry, you there? Ah, man, that roughed me up. Got him though. There's gotta be another escape pod around here somewhere. We did it though. We got him. Ah, it was a pretty good plan. I could say it was the greatest. That station's been destroyed. Excellent news. What's wrong? God, second time around and I'm still crying. Jesus. Damn. Damn, Puffball. That mu the music just sold it. Holy crap. The music just sold it for that one. Oh, God. Uh, I'm still crying on that one. Oh. Holy shit. That... Man, again, that, that one just hurts. That one really hurts.
Nope. Doesn't, doesn't, nope. Headphones don't do anything. Let's see. I'm missing a few endings. Uh. All right, let's uh, let's move on. Okay, did all that. Let's see. Uh, Relentless Bounty Hunter. Already did all that. Let's see. Rapidly Promoted Executive. Alright. Fake Death. Alright, Top Hat. Clan won't even stand a chance against us, dude. Yeah, they they don't even realize that that we know about their secret jungle base. They think they can just launch a rocket into orbit and be free to do whatever they want. There's, we're gonna even show them. What are you two idiots doing? We need to ship out right now. You guys are the worst. Come on. too early. Ah, oh, great. And I'm on a cliff, too. Isn't that great? Uh, abuse physics engine? Whoa! Heard the new top bad leader's missing. Ten bucks says he shows up and stops our entire operation. Yeah. Alright. Hmm. 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 Sniper. Can't believe that actually worked. Duplicate orange. Hello, you're adopted alone. Wait, this isn't the original Henry. We're not gonna file some guy. <laughs> yeah, and no kidding, you're adopted. All right, uh, lag switch. Did I get him? Nope. Man, am I glitching Ooh. this? Ooh! Hijack! And I forgot the signal. Jeez. Scrambler. Oh shit! Big boy's going on a rampage. I thought big boy was working. He's working now. Whoa, shit. Oh no, uh, not again. In command, we are picking up minor chaos readings here. Permission to engage. Roger that, commencing chaos containment. Not these guys again. Do not. 
Multiverse imbalance. Hmm. Ultimate freeze. Uh, what is that gonna do? Oh, so what though? Uh, chaos contained. <laughs> uh, what does this do? Oh, fuck. Oh shit, Donald a new day! Guy! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you should have thought about what I'm willing to do in order to get the job done. Come in, Phantom. You've got the all clear. They'll never know what hit them. That's right. Yeah, I've got a. Oh. Preparations are nearly complete. Oh, shit. Gee, the Center for Chaos Containment sure has a sur surplus of nuclear bombs, huh? I thought I saw something near his foot. Come in, Phantom. You've got the all clear. They'll never know what hit him. I was right. That's right. Yeah, I've got a... Oh. Preparations are nearly com... Well. Yeah, why did they have so many bombs? Multiverse imbalance. Hmm. I guess I haven't done enough, huh? I'll have to come back to that one. The fuck? That's right. Ah! General, oh. what's going on? I have no idea. There's no way we can do the mission now. Repeat, the mission is a no-go. Hey, uh, Chief? Yeah, we got a tank approaching with Henry inside. Henry? You're here? What are you doing in a tank? Repeat, top hat raid has been aborted. Fall back. You protected the clan. Yeah, the future of the top hat clan looks bright with you as our leader. Top hat for life. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna. I'm gonna check something. new top bad leader's missing. Ten bucks says he shows up and stops our entire operation. Yeah. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. Leg switch. Did I get him? Nope. Ooh. Walk through. Hey everyone, this is part 65 of my Henry Stickman playthrough. Today I'm going to be doing the part with the tank. But uh, before I get started, I just want to thank my sponsor, Make sure you leave a comment, it's very important, it helps me out. Uh, 
I don't know how many more endings there are in this game, but uh, this is one of them. And when you get to this tank part, you want to pick walk through. It'll play this video of a guy who starts talking and he's like, Hey, what's up guys? Time for another walkthrough. This is part 65, Henry Stickman, Pun Gaming. Before we get started, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on my video. Can't believe they're able to reference this really obscure. What the fuck? I got three choices here. If you, if you click walkthrough, it starts playing a video of this really boring guy who's all like, What's up, guys? I'm playing Henry Stickman today, doing a walkthrough. Uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, follow me on, um, Face. You might be tempted to pick the more logical choice here. Oh, there are fall tank. tank. Oh, you get three options. You want to pick walkthrough here. Uh, it goes up to this oh, video of a guy who says, Hey guys, this is gonna be a walk. Uh, wow. You spent a total of 82 to 94 seconds watching that scene. Wait a minute. I just realized what I could do here. Hey everyone, this is part 65 of my Henry Stickman playthrough. Today I'm gonna be doing the part with the tank. But uh, before I get started, I just want to thank my sponsor. I got a speedrun strats. There we go. I I was just looking at that. As soon as it said the time, I'm like. Wait a minute. All right, now, uh, let's see. Uh, rope. Oof. Ay! I could have made that. Climb. Ha! Skyward Sword! Not Skyward Sword, uh. Uh. Damn. Spread of the Wild. <sighs> oh, oh, shit. Ow! I know meters are good and all, but you can't be chowing down in a place like this. Why? It works in. It works in Breath of the Wild! Knife. Everyone knows you've won, run faster with a knife. Valorant. Uh, now, how do I get that meter full in terms of uh, multiverse? Hmm. Hmm. Wonder how you get that meter up. Hmm. I might have to come back to that one. Man, yeah, maybe I need all the endings. Let's see. I have not done Ghost Inmate. <laughs> All right, moving on. Three days after fleeing the complex. Everyone, when huh? we arrive, I'd like to. Hey, hey guys. Where have you been? Oh, you want to know? He was locked up at the wall with me. Oh, hi. Who are you? How did you get here? Oh. I'm Ellie. I heard the guy I helped escape was the leader of the Topat clan, so I busted myself out and followed him. I helped you escape, and you just left me. What? I was wondering Have when you no gonna do honor, that. no dignity. Actions like this tarnish the Topat hey. name. Man, is Cat this girl. really what we want out of a leader? He barged in here, and took control of the Topat clan for himself. He's not worthy of being our leader. I say we throw him overboard. Who's with me? 
Hey, come on, guys. Let's, let's be reasonable. I thought Henry was a pretty good leader. Yeah, you know, this doesn't really take any loyalists to the brig. Henry, you are hereby dethroned from your position as leader of the Tuppet clan. I'm going to want that hat. Nope! Uh, jump. Or I'll make you jump. Okay, then. You know what? I was actually wondering if they were gonna do do one where Ellie was pretty sore about just leaving that, leaving her there. I like I was actually wondering when if they were gonna do that because I remember like if you if you get out and you just left Ellie there, uh, that she it said Ellie will remember that. So yeah, chainsaw. Definitely thought the other side would fall, like in all the other cartoons. Uh, safe state. Oh! Shot through the leg, and you're to blame. <laughs> you give safe states a bad name. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's a good one. Oh boy. No, uh, please. Oh, please. I did it. I don't want to hear it. Oh, come on. I don't think so. All right, helicopter hat. See ya. Henry? We're with you, Henry. Get us out of here. Uh, yeah. Are you serious? Hell okay, yeah, I'm gonna do that! Mario Odyssey! What'd you do with Henry? Oh. Whoa. They can tell you don't look like Henry. What, you think all stick figures look the same? Apparently not. Hmm. Me? Uh, uh, Dave. Come on, Dave, you got this. Ha! <laughs> Good, thank good you. Good teamwork. Hey, thank you. Thanks, Henry. It's not right what they did to you. Well, thanks, guys. The denouncement ceremony has been completed. Henry is no longer the leader of the Top Bat Clan. How do you want to proceed, boss? I got a few ideas. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Not sure. Midnight surprise? Ooh. Oh, hi. Thank you again for rescuing me from. Now! Fire in the hole! Ah, uh, just like old times. That was a poorly thought out plan, though. The good jets! <sighs> that was a close call. Henry's still the leader! Oh, I've had enough of this! <laughs> Oh shit! What? What? That's OP. They better be nerving that in the next patch. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Like seriously, the right hand man is OP for God's sake. What the heck? Okay. Deuces. Quick, everyone, get into this escape pod. It's kind of tight in here. Yeah. Oh! What was that? Eh. What now, boss? Looks like we're on our own. Hmm. Top Hat Civil Warfare. Wow. Mine crystal. Uh, unlock cells. Shaloob! Oh. <laughs> uh. Uh, damn it! Oh, nothing, nothing really else. Uh, let's see. I think I remember... 
One thing I want to get though. Uh, wait, which one? Which one was it? The. Let's see. Collapse. Secret weapon. Top of the train. Face to face. Uh, door stuck. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember. Which one was the one where I... Pure-Blooded Thief? No, that wasn't it. I'm trying to remember which one it was. One where I got to steal all their stuff. Oh, that was it. Uh, I remember... I remember I was I missed this guy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hello, Racing John. Welcome to the stream, dude. Make yourself at home. And uh, yeah, it's been a while. I haven't seen you in a while. Okay, I just wanted to grab that. Let's see. Which ones have I... All right. Let's see. According to this, I've only got two endings left. Okay, these are the last two. Pure-blooded thief. So, ghosted man! Let's see what this does. Good evening. The Topek clan continues to remain untouched by the governments of the world. Their rocket launch earlier this week has placed the space station in a stable orbit around the globe. The station has plenty of room to store all the clan's members as well as the stolen valuables. Among these valuables mm. is the price of the emeralds stolen from <coughs> the Queen of Mori's chambers just last year. The Topek clan are also thought to be the ones responsible for the theft of the remaining ruby and the Tunisian diamond. The orbital station allows the Topek clan to easily raid any place on Earth. Hmm. Hey, Chief. Our satellites have picked up a hostile object. Oh no, is it the government? Did they send a destroyer after us? Uh, no. Well, just shoot it down. I'm here to steal your stuff! No barrel roll! <laughs> care what map pack calls it okay it's still it is going to be called the barrel roll i don't care what map pack calls it calls it we're still going to call it a barrel roll uh. i'm just gonna wait for time run out plan of attack fly in a straight line and do nothing yeah Light speed! Oh. Ah! Forgot to hold on to your butt. Oh, forgot to hold on to your butt. Ugh. I know that, Arcane, but it's still gonna be called the barrel roll. Okay, let's get him up. What? Ay! Status report. Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, we completely missed. And they're, uh, they're on the ship now. Completely missed. <sighs> we spent so much money on that. Hmm. Okay. Weapons, oxygen, big fan. Ah, there's the vault. How am I. Oh my god, so many choices. Ah ha ha ha! Teleporter! No! Oh, what? What? Ah, ow. I'm gonna be coming in quick. Ah, oh, 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 What? Did that actually freaking work? Did that actually freaking work? 
Are you freaking serious? <laughs> oh my god. The one time he decides to trash this thing because it's so fucking useless and it works. What the actual hell? Oh my god. Holy shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just cannot believe that worked. Oh my god. That was that was friggin' hilarious. Smash. <laughs> Used a little bit too much anime power up. Just a little bit too much. Should have stopped after the second, huh? Ugh. Wall clip. Oh. oh. Shit. It's a hard mood to pull off. You have to be frame perfect. Uh. I guess just open simple solution. Huh? Oh no, you don't. Hey, Ridge. Yeah, I found that intruder. Excellent work. I knew I could count on you. Hang on a minute. This is the guy that stole our ruby. Now he's trying to steal our emerald. Gee, that guy? You better take care of him. With pleasure. Uh, uh chance time! Sorry. One sec. <sighs> yep, yeah, chance time always screws you over. Damn it! I never have any luck with that thing. With that, I sh I should have known better than to go that. All right. Uh, uh, Yo! Uh, do uh, boom. Boom. Maybe... Right-hand man, what happened? What's going on? Breach in Orion Lounge. Find him? We can't let him get away with this again, not twice! A hey, Chief, we spotted him outside. Get him! Stop him! Fire Supreme Dominance now! Whoa. Okay. Charging up Supreme Dominance for you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Super Henry! Damn it! I only have one emerald. I should have known better. Oh god, that is a gruesome image. Grown shrink. Oh my god! Well, time to go. Oh! Not you. Curse you! Goodbye. And I just wanted to steal stuff. I guess I screwed over Breaking the top clan. The top at orbital station has been completely destroyed. We are unsure of the exact details at the moment. Several escape pods have been seen entering the atmosphere. The top at chief's escape pod was found, but there is nobody inside. Government forces state they do not know whether he survived. Jewel Baron. Okay, I'm. Oh God, I missed. I missed all of these. I just went for teleport because I thought it'd be funny, and I got it right on the first try. Jesus! All right, leap alert class time. Jump, jump farther. Yeah, you try. Pull vault. What? Oh, ow. Oh yeah, good form at least. <laughs> okay. Catapult! No. Should you should have used a trebuchet? They're far superior. Yeah, no, I heard that. Okay, moving on. <laughs> yeah, no, I've actually seen a trebuchet. It's pretty good. Ram. 
Oh. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Don't worry. The tile pass validate parking. Racket. Whoa. Ah. I just lit a rocket. Rockets explode. <laughs> Toy story. <laughs> Uh, nice Toy Story reference. Bridge. Huh. Measure once, cut twice. Wait. Cannon! Huh. Kaboom, baby! <laughs> okay. Oh, God, that was a lot. Hey, Jack. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's why I didn't do it. The eject button ejects. Well, what do you know? Huh? Emerald. Oh, wait. Hey, that thing is really heavy, okay? Okay, there's only one more ending, guys. Presumed death. Hello? Yeah, can I speak to the chief, please? Not available? Well, look, I was just wondering if the rocket plan was still in action. You know, the rocket plan. Firing up that space station into orbit. Yeah, the one where we can just sit around. No, you know, luxurious lounges, plenty of room, great view of Earth, far enough away from any meddling governments. Yeah, still happening then. Yeah, right, we're, we're leaving from that jungle base then, right? Hmm. What? Relax, mate. No one's going to be listening in here. You really think someone's going to try and steal an entire rocket? You must be mental. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, I'll see you then. You forget, I'm a pure-blooded thief! Alright. Oh, wait, I already took that. Uh... Oh! Okay, off to a good start. <laughs> Limbo! Oh, well, good you go! Henry. Not very. That's as far back as you can go, but Henry, come on! Stop. Hey, can you? Hey, oh, can yeah, you? sure thing. Oh, thank you. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, man. The guy just zipped right by me. I couldn't do anything about it. He's too fast. Intruder? Who is that? Can we stop him, please? I'm coming in to so steal hot. your stuff. Look, you're not allowed to change heads, alright? Now drop it. Getting on my nerves up. Items! I care! Were those? Yep, that's a mine. That was a mine I just ran through. Damn it! But it's so hot. Look, you're not allowed to change heads, alright? Now drop it. Getting on my nerves over here. Come on through! The intruder has been spotted on the premises. Keep your eyes peeled and stop him if you spot him. Wow, that actually worked. Oh, get off my scooter. The rocket. Close the main door immediately. Uh, spike wheels! Going up! He's riding straight up? What is this guy doing? Trying to steal our rocket? <sighs> we'll take care of this. Oi, Chief. Got a clear shot here. Yes, go ahead. Uh, there... Uh... Not much of a brain in there to begin with. Oi! Oh, I should have listened for the sound. Only 95 more hits to go. Whoa! Damn, dude! Hey! Emergency launch protocol activated. He's hijacking the rocket! Right hand man, where are you? Three, yeah, I thought we had like. Two, I thought we had a few more hours. 
Not on my watch. What the? Uh. Got a big one. Uh, precision shot. Damn. Yeah, there we go. Mission complete. A year later. Welcome to Stickman Space Resort. Built out of a former Topat base, it's been refitted for your luxury enjoyment. We Topats aboard nice. have reformed and now work as crew members. The Topats that remained on Earth were arrested, as you know. The resort is run by the man himself, Henry Stickman. You may wonder, why did he steal a criminal clan's rocket and decide to turn it into a resort? We may never know, but hey, you wouldn't be here if that didn't happen. Enjoy your stay. Stickman Space Resort. Huh. Was not expecting that one. Hey! Uh, shoot. Sweet hops, bro. But it's so hot. Look, you're not allowed to change heads, alright? Now drop it. Get them. Nice. Ah! Damn blue shells get me every time! Dread it, run from it, the shell arrives all the same. I feel like I feel I can hear my friend CJ screaming, uh, screaming in bloody murder right now. Eh, anyway, ow, lag, battering ram. Oh. They're ignoring those physics lessons. Hey, you know what? You ignore physics all the time. I don't want to hear it. Drill. Yeah. Ryan, I don't want to hear that, even if it is a joke, okay? I don't want... I don't watch... Hee hee hee, drill go brrr. First try! <laughs> oh. Shit. Out of gas. I'm pretty sure that was... Yep, okay. Well, shoot. Out of gas. Okay. The story ends. Get all the get all the fails. Let's see. Uh, now where was that one? Ah, here we go. Hmm. Uh. Get all the fails. Hmm. There's still a lot of secrets. Let's see. I know I didn't get a, get everyone here, but how do you get that one? How do you get that gauge to be full? Hmm. Hmm. Now, I know I'm missing a couple. So, let's see. Hmm. Like, I still haven't gotten... I've done... I've gotten all the endings in the game. 
And holy crap, there were a lot of endings. Uh, let's see. Okay, maybe I should look up and see how, which bios I've missed. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, got all of you. You look like you're on board the train. You're in the bar, so let's see. Huh. Uh, I guess I should... I guess I should, uh... Let's see, which one was the one that had the, uh... Hmm... Which one had the one where... Which one had the one with the, uh, shoot? Ah, here we go. Message to all recent players, I'm hosting a test for Most recent message. Yeah. This is a Code 12 broadcast. Okay. The remnants of the Top Hat Clan. Okay. Let's see, so I got you. Now let's see, BIOS. Okay, so I got you. Let's see, uh, this one you looks like you're on the train. Let's see. Uh, I think I should keep this one going then. Well, I suppose we should hop in. Bath time. All right, I'll get the door. <laughs> you were standing right Someone next there. To me. Hey, you there. <laughs> okay, so did I get all the ones that are here, or like if Ender could get out of the way, please? Thank you. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I got all the ones that are in the train. So now the ones in the bar. Uh, that's the one I just did. I think. Yeah, I think it's the one I just did. Uh, yeah, overheard phone call. Hello? Yeah, can I speak to the ch- Try that again. God, that is so fast. Hello? I didn't get yeah, him. Can I speak to the chief? <laughs> Ow. Uh, okay, this one is pure blooded thief and presumed dead. <laughs> the only way I'm going to get him. Yes, I got him. God, it is so fast. Yeah, can I speak to the ch oh, oh, my stomach can't take much more of this. All right, so let's see. Oh shit, I actually did miss one. Uh, he was on the train. Let's see, where was that? Uh, right here. Well, right now, I'm just trying to clean up this, uh... All right, right now, I'll I'm just trying door. to clean up, uh... Everything else. Because I'm trying to 100% this. So I'm gonna go through and try to get all the bios. So I hope you guys don't mind sticking around. You were standing right Someone next there. To you. Hey, you there. Got him! <laughs> Let's see. Am I... All right. Alright, so, so far I've got all of you, 
I got all of you. I got all of you. Got all of you. Let's see, it looks like he's a smoker. So let's see. Hmm. So when does this happen? I'm going to guess uh, right there. Okay. Uh... Hey! Hey! Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. <clears throat> Whoa, lo, lo. Narwini. You, stand guard. Erectus. There's no one here. They must be out fighting. It looks like they left in a hurry. I've gotten into their security feed. Looks like the right-hand man is holed up in the warehouse. The hulls are completely empty. We should be able to get close without getting detected. What's the plan, sir? Keep the door secure. There he is. Let's okay. do this. Okay, I got I got one at least. So let's see. Looks like setting up. Man, I'm these are this is going to be hard. Let's see. I just, all I know is I got to find their picture. Let's see. One of them is... Hmm... Let's see... Where would I... Be trying to get in? Like, where would... Where would one be smoking a cig? Hmm... Uh... This is a long one, though, so I'm... Sorry. But yeah, I, I hope that you guys don't mind sticking around while I try to find all the bios. We're entering top at airspace now. I love this one. Altitude 20,000 feet. Wind speed nominal. Ability's clear. Stand by for drop. I hope you don't mind helping us out again. Yeah. I called ahead and got the all clear from the general. I'm sure you've got a lot of questions. Don't worry, he'll fill you in when you arrive. You'll be dropping in on the outskirts of the top at launch site. We've also got a squad waiting for you when you arrive. Alright, time to drop. Alright. Geronimo! There he is. Do you think he's as legendary as they say? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, Henry. Really kept us waiting, huh? Nice to meet the legend in person. Henry, glad to see you made it safely. Let me introduce you to your squad. First off is John Pilkson. He's been doing this for 30 All years right, and he so excels at stealth. He'll be a go-to man, man for anything they involving must have been stealth. Enjoying this. He'll be going by the codename Frog. Next up is Gordon Banks. He's a master when it comes to electronics. He knows his way around any interface and he'll be very helpful when it comes to hacking. He'll be going by the codename Eel. Lastly, we have Amelia Esteban, demolitions expert. She's known to tackle problems head on and will blow a hole in any problem. Her codename? Turtle. Uh, General. What's all this about? Ah, Frog. I'll run through the briefing again. We recently learned of the Top Hat Clan's plan to launch a space station into orbit around the Earth. If they're able to get this station operational, they'll become unstoppable. They'll be able to attack any place around the world easily, with no way for anyone to counterattack. 
The top ads? Weren't they brought down by Henry? Unfortunately, no. Only their leader was captured. They're now being led by the previous well, the, right hand the man. The first scene. The right hand yeah, man. Yeah, that is how it looks. Ah, I thought he was defeated. Seems someone's fixed him up, giving him cybernetic enhancements to boot. He'll be quite a handful to deal with. Hmm. So we're just cleaning up another mess. Well, it is what you do best. Your mission is to capture or eliminate the right hand man. We'll be launching an all out assault on the compound at the same time. Our focus being on preventing the rocket from launching. Ah, sounds like a good time. That's why we're sending all you. Good luck out there, Henry. The raid's starting. Let's get in there and find it. Oh, we need to get past that guard. Oh, wait, that guy with the cigarette was not there? Well, then there was no point in doing that. Yeah, that was a bit of a waste of time. Let's see. I need to find a way to... Hmm. Hmm. Where would I find him? If he wasn't even there, it's like... Hmm. Man, how many am I missing? See, it looks like I missed this one. Another one at the bar. Let's see. That looks like... Okay. Got all of them there. Missed one here. Eleven. So I, mi I missed a few. Man, getting all... Getting them all is going to be a pain in the ass. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm going to use the bathroom. Okay. All right, guys. So, are you guys are you guys still with me? Are you guys still with me and me trying to 100% this? Uh, I hate to admit it, but I think I'm gonna have to. I think I'm gonna have to look them up. Cause, like, I'm pretty like at least for that one, I don't know where he is. Let's see. Completing the mission. Uh. Bios. Let's see. List of bios. Let's see. There are a lot of bios in this game. In this one. Let's see. So, which one am I missing? I'm missing the uh, in between Charles and Marty O. Let's see. So, where would that be? Charles. Hmm. Where would he be? Hmm. Ah, 
Here we, here we are. Uh, shoot. Problem is, since the game is so new... Yeah, that's the problem. The mission, since the game's so new, I'm missing. Ugh, I think I'm gonna have to try to figure things out. There's no real. There's not really any guide for them. Yeah, I think I might have to try to figure things out. Hmm. Let's see, where is the, let's see, is there a, is there a bios guide? Ah, here we go, bio. Uh, there, apparently there's a bios guide in, on Steam. Completing the mission. Nope, he's not done yet. Let's see. So, uh, how about... Nope. I think I'm going to have to... Let's see. Okay. Uh, so let me check my... Let me check. How, what's, my, what's my collection look like? Let's see, uh, I have most of them. Let's see. I have most of them, so that's the thing. I'm trying to figure out uh, which ones do I not have. Let's see. Leaf mode, I already did that one. Oh wait, did I get that one? In the electric surprise? Hmm. Let's see, uh, mutiny. Uh, the brig. A few ideas. Oh yeah, I did get it. Thank you again for rescuing me from- Now! Okay. Let's see, how about, alright, I'm at the very least going to try to do the, assemble the, assemble the team one. Let's see, which one am I missing? I think it's the last one. There's a black stuff in there, Henry, in the intro cutscene when he's woken up. Okay, and the revenge one. Hey, easy, oh, easy. Here. You were gone for a bit. Between brown I was and able white. to. Between brown and white. So, which one do I not have? Let's see. Uh, let's see. What's CG? Oh, capital gains. Oh, wait, I already got that one. Red stuffy and let's see. I'm pretty sure I got that one. Let's see, uh did I get the purple one? One of the that's choosing the Oh, 
Okay, it was in the teleporter one. Apparently, I missed one here. Whoa! Ow. Oh. I'm gonna be coming in fast. Yeah. What? Oh, curious. Assemble the crew. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, let me do that again, cause there might have been something. Some there might have been a bio or two there. Gonna be coming in fast. Yeah. Oh. Nope. Okay then. Hmm. Hmm. All right. So I got assemble the crew. Uh, let's see. Allies and enemies. So I need to find all the bios. Uh, that's the problem. So how am I gonna do that? Let's see. Okay, so uh, let's see. So apparently, one of the achievements I missed was in. Uh, okay, it was uh, in uh, this one. The f it was in the first one I did. Happy feet. Yo, yo, yo. Stickman. Seems like we're out of the danger zone. That should do the trick. Okay. Happy boy. Okay. That <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, okay. So let's see. I was already in. I was in that one. Oh, where was the one with the train? That wasn't it. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure I was a pure-blooded thief. Or was I not? Let's see, where was the one I was just doing a little bit ago? Oh, uh, no, that's not it. Got so many, right here. Whoa, check out this crazy coat rack. Oh, look at me, I'm a little hat holder person. Ooh, can I take your hat? Ooh, I wonder what's out the window. <laughs> oh, I'm broke. Press F to pay respects. Everyone, press the F key. Everyone, F in the chat. Watch what happens. Let's see. Man, 12 people. I really appreciate all the support, guys. Respects. Pay them. Alright, so what I need to do now is get all the bios. So, here's the problem, though. I don't know where to find them. Let's see. Uh, oh, oh, wait. It it tells me their alignment, right? So that means these are. This is a top hat. Let's see. This one is. Uh, let's see. He's part of the top hats. Let's see. I guess I'm missing. Oh, I guess it does not tell me if they're part of the top hats.
Let's see. Oh, I know they're all part of the top hat. So. Okay, no, it doesn't tell me if they actually are part of the top hats. So I guess I'm going to have to figure things out. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Hmm. So let's see. Well, I have bios. So where would I find? Let's see. Let's see. So I've gotten one, two, and three pages done. Uh, so I'm missing this guy. Hmm. So, yeah, I'm missing this guy. So where would he be? Missing this guy too. He's just sitting on a box. Looks like setting up. Hmm. Hmm. That's the thing. Hmm. Uh. Let's see. Preparations are nearly complete. Should be able to launch within the hour. So, this is the Top Hat Clan's secret base. Sign me up! Whoa, what happened to that guy? Henry! You're back! No, I don't think this is it. Let's see. Uh... Wakey, wakey. Nope, definitely not there. Let's try this one, then. Hey, oh, Joe. there he is! Ah, perfect timing, boys. Been waiting for you two to get here. Let me just get right to it. We've discovered that the remainders of the Top Hat Clan have been seen building some kind of rocket. They've been gathering their remaining members and supplies here in the jungle. All right. If they're able to That's get the station down? into orbit, they'll be impossible for us to take down. Now, I know you don't know us anything, Henry, but we could really use your help on this one. Help us out with this one and you'd be, we'd be owing you a big, a big ol' favor. Now, you and Charlie have worked well together in the past, so we figured you'd be the perfect men for this operation. Yeah, what do you say, Henry? You can count on us, General. Now, we're really putting all our potatoes in one sack on this one, so don't let us down, boys. Alright, let's see. Yeah. Hey, I know uh, we just started and all, but uh, I think I'm getting targeted by a sand turret. Yeah, oh yeah. If you could just go ahead and uh, deal with that. Drawing! I don't really know I what you can't did, but, uh, believe that works. The what the shit? <laughs> the rocket will be launching very soon. Please get on board immediately. I will not hesitate to leave you behind. Oh, we really gotta get you in there. I should be able to get you in there with this. All right, Henry, uh, All right, go ahead and go. grab onto the the thing, and then I'll helicopter you across. I am fighting with the greatest of ease. Oh man, it looks like every member of the Top Hat Clan is on here. So, looking at a schematic here, um, if you get to the engine room, you can shut down the engine, and then uh, the rocket okay. won't be able to take off, and then they'll all be stuck in here. So, I'll cause a distraction while you make a run for it to the engine room, got it? Sure. Okay, so, okay, so, looks like I found the right one, so, okay, I missed the guy that was sitting on the box. Uh, let me re, let me redo that. Alright, Henry, uh, go ahead and grab onto the, the thing, and then I'll helicopter you across. I'm <laughs> Oh man, it looks like every member nice of the Top Hat Clan is on here. So, looking at a schematic here, um, if you get to the engine room, you can shut down the engine, and then uh, the rocket won't be able to take off, and then they'll all be stuck in here. Mm -hmm. So, I'll cause a distraction while you make a run for it to the engine room, got it? Let's see. Uh, okay. Okay, great. That's another page completed. 
Let's see, uh, I missed this guy. Hmm. Uh, let me try the TV broadcast. I think that's the one I missed. Hey guys, come check this out. Someone's streaming yep, TV. Yep, there he is. Here. Getting upset, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> What? It's a good show. <laughs> okay, okay, good. So, so far, so good. All right, five full pages, six full pages. Okay, this one. Where would that be? Stephen Willis. Uh, let's see. That looks like the end of. Let's see. Yeah, that looks like the end of the uh, the mission. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm. I think I know where I gotta go. Uh, it looks like uh, probably this one. No, wait. It was. Uh, da -da. No, no. Charles! Get us out of here, Charles! We've got him. Put out the signal. Attention all top ends. We've captured your leader. They got him. now. What do we do? Yo, we is needing like a new boss man. Come on, man. No leaders through this. Uh, no. I will. Is anyone there? Oh, damn! That was so fast! Who put you in charge? Got another group that surrendered here. That was really fast. Anyone else notice that? Excellent job, Henry. Thanks to your capture, the top bats panicked, and we were able to prevent the rocket from launching. A few members escaped, but they're all in small groups now. They won't be causing us any significant problems. You know, bounty hunting really suits you. Ever think about going pro? Uh, gotta do it again. What do we do? Yo, we is needing like a new boss man. Come on, man, I'll lead us through this. Uh, no, I will. Is anyone Got there? Him. We need to take off immediately. Who put you in charge? Got another group that surrendered here. All right. All right, that's another bio. Excellent. Holy job, moly, Henry. there are so many bios. Thanks to your capture, the top bats panicked, and we were able to prevent the rocket from launching. I do thank you so much for all the support, guys. It means a lot. You know, seriously, I can't believe I have 11 viewers right now for this game. All right. So uh, I got so I got that guy. So let's see. According to my thing, it looks like. Hmm. When was this? Okay, I think I know when this one. I think I know when this one was. Uh, that's when I was stealing their rocket. Not rocket. Stealing the diamond. Huh? Fusrota! Right hand man, what happened? What's going on? Breach in Orion Lounge. Find him. We can't let him get away with this again, not twice. Hey, Chief, we Wait, spotted him. That was uh, so we fast. Stop him. Fire Supreme Dominance now. Whoa. Okay. Charging up Supreme Dominance for you. Uh. Yep. Uh, uh. Rado. Oh! 
Right hand man, what happened? What's going on? Breach in Orion Lounge. Find him. We can't let him Okay, I still got him. Again, not twice. Hey, Chief, we spotted him outside. Get him! Stop him! Fire Supreme Dominance now! Whoa. Okay. Charging up Supreme Dominance for you. Uh oh. Let's see, uh, okay, got him. Let's see, if I had to guess. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, no kidding, goddess. That's why I missed him. You know what? I'm gonna end this. Laser slicer. Well, time to go. What? Not you. Curse you. Goodbye. I got what I wanted. Breaking news. The Toppet Orbital Station has been completely destroyed. We are unsure of the exact details at the moment. Several escape pods have been seen entering the no atmosphere. No joke, I have the heard, Toppet Chief's escape heard pod was curse found, you but so no many times inside. in my Government life. forces state they do not know it's whether just an, It's just another Thursday for me. Let's see. All right. All right. So if I had to guess, this was this one is probably in the one with presumed dead and Charles. Ooh. There he is. Okay. Okay. Got that one. All right. This one is. Let's see, this one looks like it's all ruined. Okay, I think I know what this one is. This one is the revenge one. I don't know. I don't know, Ryan. Hey, easy, easy. You were gone for a bit. I was able to bring you back to life. I specialize in military-grade augmentations. I was forced to replace spine and left arm, as some of damage you sustained was beyond repairing. You had run in with Topet clan, though. I have encountered them before. You see, you're still healing. They went south, if you are wondering. About ten hours ago. Wow, you are learning so quickly. Let's go! Good luck. Thanks. Alright. I'm thinking once we arrive, we should be able to... Henry! Take him out, right-hand man! Time for a little payment. Oh, wait. No, it doesn't start in the cockpit. That's right. Uh, it was after this. Say so you like... Let's say it like this. Big blast! Defeated. No, we're losing altitude. I gotta get out of here. No, what are you going to do? Oh wait, was it the drop one? No, you don't have to do this. <laughs> Anyone available? Uh, there's an attacker in the cockpit. Oh god, that is really fast. No, you don't have to do this.
anyone available. Uh, there's an attacker in the cockpit. Uh, is that all of them? Nope, still missed the, still missed the other guy. One more time. Sorry, Henry. Here, you don't have to do this. Jeez, I can only, it goes, they go so fast that I can only get one bio per plague through this one. Anyone available? Uh, there's an attacker in the cockpit. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm going to guess this one's the mutiny. Let's see. Heck, girl! She kind of just appeared and joined the ranks. People have, have said they saw her in a spaceship or something. Alright, so I'm pretty sure this one is in the mutiny. Let's see. Wait, does that mean there's a time piece in here? Now everyone, when we arrive, I'd like to... Henry, where have you been? Oh, you want to know? He was locked up at the wall with me. Um, who are you? How did you get here? Oh. I'm Ellie. I heard the guy I helped escape was the leader of the Topat clan, so I busted myself out and followed him. I helped you escape, and you just... left me. What? Have you no honor? No dignity? Actions like this tarnish the Topat name! Men, is there this really what we want out of a leader? He barged in here and took control of the Topat clan for himself. He's not worthy of being our leader. I say we throw him overboard! Who's with me? Why are we doing this? I thought Henry was a pretty good leader. Yeah, you know, this doesn't really take any loyalists to the brig. Henry, you are hereby dethroned from your position as leader of the Tuppet clan. I'm going to want that hat. Nope. Jump. Or I'll make you jump. No. Nope. Let's see. Okay, so I got that guy. Jeez, I am I must be really close to being done. Uh, this guy. Uh, this, let's see, when was this taking place? Oh, this was, okay, I see. I see when he, I see when that one took place. Uh, that's at the, that's at the glitchy shit. Uh, let's see. Uh, this one. Got him. All right, last. This must be the last one. When was this? Uh oh, this was. Oh, okay. I know where this one is. God, I knew I missed a few. Like I knew I missed a few with that one. Uh, let's see. This was in Diversion. Let's see. I had Ellie with me on that one. Okay. Yo! I love this. 
this one. I love this. Situation sorted. I guess I have to go back. Uh, guys, back the stop. rocket's launching. We gotta do something before they get into orbit. We need to come up with a plan. Quick. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, huh. I'm pretty sure you're still friends with me, Aura Drac. Let me see. Let's see. New invite. Uh, Aura Drac 2 TPF. That you, dude? Or direct two dash TPF dash? Let's see. Right here, combo time. Funny story. This cannon was actually built to fire humans. It's kind of weird. Well, on your butt. Whoa, boy! <laughs> Ow. Direct hit. Now, quick, guys, you gotta stop that rocket from taking off. Um. Got a little bit of a situation. <clears throat> Bios. Okay, I got that one. Now I need to find the one that was in the sunglasses. Uh, oh, there he is. Sadly, I hate that you can't click on it while during this screen. Okay. Okay. There you go, Vincent. I don't know how that happened. All right. Right here, combo time. Funny Yo! Story, uh, this cannon was actually built to fire humans. It's kind of weird. Plenty of butts. Whoa! Yahoo! I love getting launched. Direct hit. Now, quick, guys, you gotta stop that rocket from taking off. Um. Got a little bit of a situation. <clears throat> Alright. Alright, got him. Okay, so I'm missing... Oh, I'm just missing two more. I'm missing this guy and this guy. So, Yo. I guess diversion? I missed one. Situation sorted. Yeah, I missed it. I still love uh, that guys, though. The rocket's launching. We gotta do something before they get into orbit. Oh shit! Yeah. Quick. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Yo. Yo. Hey, Jay Z boy, you're just in time. I'm about to 100% this. Welcome to the stream, man. And enemies. Sorted. Uh, guys, the rocket's launching. We gotta do something before they get into orbit. We need to come up with a plan. Quick. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Ah. Hmm. Ah. All right. Now, I heard... S now, let's take a look at this. Well, guys... I've done everything. This, this is it. I've got all the endings, all the bios, all the achieve, all every other achievement. It's 
been fun. Hmm? Multiverse at capacity. Hmm. Anomaly detected. Correcting anomaly. What? Oh, a package, huh? Oi, Dave! Yep. Hey, I got a package here for someone named Henry. I love delivering packages. Uh. For enjoying the Henry Stickman games all these years. Multiverse coverage. There we go. Well, that actually and that answered the and that answers the question of where who sent Henry a package for escaping the prison. But yeah, that is it. Uh, let me just make sure. Yep, that is every single achievement in this game. And that means... Platinum in the chat, everybody! Platinum in the chat! I did it all! I did it all! Everything is done in this game! There's literally nothing left. There is literally nothing left. Holy crap. Oh, it's a Johnny Bravo reference, I see. Jonathan Bravo. I don't know if it's intentional or not, but he sounds exactly like Elvis Presley. single achievement there is literally nothing left for me to do it has all right now if you want me now how many of you guys want me to read the bios If you don't, then I can. Then I'll just end my stream. But it's up to you guys. Do you guys want me to read the bios? Because I can. Thank you. 
us? Well, what does what the rest of you say? Do you want me to read the bios? Because, uh, I've got enough, I've got enough, I've got another hour or two to, uh, before I really actually have to call it. So, it's ultimately up to you guys. and that's actually muting the sound. So can you guys still hear me okay? Can you guys still hear me okay when I mute it? When I mute the game? Can you guys still hear me okay? Okay. <clears throat> All right. And and do you not hear the game? I just want to make sure you guys don't hear the game. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so, everybody good? Everybody ready? Does, I'm just making sure that everybody is ready for me to read these. Let's see. All right, we all good? We all ready? We all ready to to listen to me talk for talk for a while? <laughs> but seriously though, guys, I really appreciate all the support. All right, so uh, before I get started, though, let me go to the bathroom.
Okay. Well then. <clears throat> if everybody's ready. <clears throat> Let, let's start it off. Let's start off reading these bios. Henry Stickman. He's short on cast, so it's time to get some. Not to be confused with Henry Stickman. Chad Henson. Fresh out of college. Guarding a bank sounds awesome. Unfortunately, this job happens to be in the middle of nowhere. Philly Collin. Philly's been wor working as a guard at this bank vault for five years now. He loves the badass look of the uniform. But uh, th th I don't see the uniform. Well, never mind. Ted McAdams, the driver of the bank truck. He and Winston have been partners for many years. Ted has always been the driver. Winston Davis. He always rides shotgun in the bank truck. He prefers looking at the scenery rather than focusing on the road. Huh. Well, I guess that's why he's not the driver. Anyway. <clears throat> now for escaping the prison. Henry Stickman. Arrested for the attempted burg burglary of the bank. He now sits at Red Mesa Penitentiary. Rupert Price. He's been on the force for nearly eight years. He joined the police academy right out of high school. Wow. Dave Penpa. He's new to the force and eager to do a good job. That's the guy that was supposed to check it, but he didn't. Harold Ronson. He works as the prison's janitor, but he also enjoys doing their maintenance work. Blade Knife Man McGee. Wow, that's a generic name. Let's see. Not generic, but you know what I mean. Serving multiple life sentences for multiple counts, counts of murder. He gave, he gave himself the nickname Knife Man. Well, so he deserves to be in prison. Let's see. Kev Portley. He only became a cop because he knows cops eat donuts and he loves donuts. You won't catch him doing much police work. He should get fired. Stump Blump. He, let's see, he was beat up a lot as a child because of his name, for obvious reasons. Wow, that's if that's all you if that's all you got to say. That's kind of sad. Let's see, Ryan Goldman, Employee of the Month, Red Mesa's Penitentiary's Employee of the Month for the month of June. Oh, it was June then. Hmm. Okay. Carlos Bird. He works a desk job at the prison. He prefers it over over going into the dangerous field. Yeah, some people are like that. Yeah, I actually want to hear some of your reactions to some of these uh to some of these guys, so, you know, just to make sure that the You know, just to make sure that the chat doesn't get uh, <clears throat> quiet. Let's see. Straight Shooter. Legally changed his name to Straight Shooter. He spits hot fire and raps mad lyrics. R respect. <laughs> oh, what the hell. Jen Brunn, one of the administrators of the prison. She keeps she keeps it running in decent condition. Hmm. John Farn, a rookie to the team. This is the first meeting he's ever attended. All oh, right, when I dropped in. <laughs> John Gritz, just got back from breaking up a fight between two inmates. It didn't go so well. Yeah, his hat looks kind of ragged. I don't know, Arcane. John Shawashaween. He joined the police force for the action, but they've stuck him behind a desk. Uh, I guess that's why he was so eager to jump on me! John Barley. Bailed out of firearms training three times. He's technically not allowed to use his weapon outside of the shooting range. Huh. 
Captain Geoffrey Custard. Custard, really? 30 years ago, a janitor threw out his lunch. He's held a grudge against janitors ever since. Oh, he's the guy that says, Shut up, janitor, your opinion doesn't count. Jonas Nugan. He's been quickly moving up the ranks. Just needs to pass that marksman exam. I think he passed with that, he with that headshot he hit with me. Ow! That hurt, you know. Captain Roland Canterbury. The man in charge of all of all off officer trainer at Red Mesa. Known to be very strict. Let's see. Hendrix. Always sleeping on the job. Nobody knows his first name. Pete Sound. Notorious for taking food for that isn't his from the employee fridge. Wow. Bruh. Bruh. That's... That, that, that ain't right. You don't take someone else's food. Sally Q. She often gets confused for someone else. Which is strange because she doesn't even have red hair. Wait. Who's she get mixed up with? I don't... Oh. I get it. Sally. Sonic. Got it. Okay, anyway. Black Mesa. Oh, right. Wait, which one is the Black Mesa reference, uh, Arcane? Gary Gray. Constantly put on evidence duty. His least favorite job. Ungus Bungus met a harsh fate many, many, many years ago. Ugh. Felix White, the city's most prominent defense attorney. He works hard to ensure innocent people are not put away. Uh, bottom mid? Oh, this is the second one. Captain Roland Canterbury. Well, yeah, so basically this is Red Mesa Penitentiary. Hmm. Let's see. Anyway. Hubert Brown, one of the city judges. It's very difficult to tell him apart from the other from other judges in the city. Vladimir Von Braun, nemesis to Mr. White. He's pretty cocky in his ability to put criminals away. This often becomes his downfall. Winston Davis. He's been he's been disposed due to his involvement in the bank's breaking. Either way, he won't be going back to his old job anytime soon. Chuck Samadis. He works at Sandwich City and enjoys his free sandwich for lunch every day. <laughs> nice. Juno Grumpert. He's received jury duty 27 times this year. This can make even the most cheery man cynical. Aw, that's cute, G. Dan Soloid. Hailing from a foreign country, this is his first time in a big city. Steve Stevens. Grinds away at his office job daily. He dreams of owning a pizza shop. Hmm, he's a shot. Bert Slim. He's been on the force for six years now, and yet there are still days that surprise him. Well, yeah, that's going to happen in any job. Tom Hardly. He takes his, this job very seriously. Never seems to take his sunglasses off. Maybe that's why he couldn't hit me even though he has a freaking shotgun! Captain Ed Roberts, the chief of police here at Red Mesa. He runs a tight ship and expects the best from all his candidates. Oh, he was the guy that was blocking the door. Yeesh. Jimothy Pug, fairly new to the force, does not handle pressure well. And that explains why his hands were up.
Michael Benz. Join the Furs at the same time as his best friend. He's the clean-shaven one. Sean Sheen. This is his first day back from a nice vacation. You ruined it. <laughs> and Matthew Flexer. He joined the Furs at the same time as his best friend. He has a goatee. Okay. Oh, I see. Same model. Okay. Now we have Stealing the Diamond. Ung yeah, Ungus Bungus. Had a harsh fate many, many, many years ago. Henry Stickman. Life has been rough after breaking out of prison. Time to, time to make some quick cash by stealing the Tunisian diamond. Mayor Fredrickson, the, uh, the underdog winner of last year's election. He's popular among the citizens because of his love for the arts. Jeff Stickley, he enjoys his rooftop post. Okay, that's the guy that's on the roof. It gives him a chance to admire the stars. He consider him, considers himself an amateur astronomer. Ted McAdams. He quit working as an armored truck driver after a certain incident. Oh, okay. Same, same guy. Let's see. Jacob Rose, the museum's newest hire. He's still in training, so he's not so he's not allowed to work unsupervised quite yet. He was the guy that was talking to Ted. Cliff Nux. He picked up smoking so he could take more breaks. Wow, dude. Lazy much? But yeah, so that's the guy that's outside during the stealth route. Let's see. Conrad Connors. He got the job as a security guard because his friend hooked him up. They, they tend to work their shifts together. Okay, so that's one of the guards at the front of the entrance. Billy Barnes usually manages to work the same shift as his friend. Zach, Zach Nutt takes his job seriously. Some of his co-workers get annoyed with his constant use of the walkie-talkie. Okay, he's the one that alerts everyone when I break in. Hembert Schult works... Works for the museum on a foreign exchange program. Nobody, nobody knows which country he's from. Billy Claude. Oh, like Billy Club. Wow, that is on that. I mean, seriously, you reverse that last letter and it becomes and it becomes a B. That one did not take that one. That one was uh, that one was a that one's a bit on the nose, if you ask me. Always looking for excuses to use his nightstick. He loves to show off his skills <laughs> to his co-workers. Oh, boy. Sam Turner. They love they love the guarding aspect of security guard work. Actually, dealing with burglars, not so much. Richard Wilkins. He's a hardworking fellow who always tries to do his best. He loves chocolate. Okay. Todd Silmans. It's hard it's hard to work odd hours at a museum. Your sleep hours get all messed up. He's doing his best. Rupert Price. His workplace suffered a huge embarrassment. He's determined to work extra hard now. Wait a sec. Isn't that Yep, that's him. Okay, so he's the guy ch so he's the guy driving the so this is the guy that was driving the car in the chase scene scene in stealing the diamond. Johnny Panzer. He's risen quickly through the ranks and it's no surprise. His skills are well above average. Wait. No, that's not him. Uh I know I saw Johnny Panzer earlier.
That's weird. I could have sworn I saw him. Or am I just kidding myself? I could have sworn I saw Johnny Panzer somewhere. Hmm. Maybe, maybe I am just fooling myself. God, I could have sworn. No, Johnny Panzer. That's weird. I could have sworn. Hmm. Anyway. Let's see. His skills are well above average. Except he still gets hit by a rock. Anyway. Jack Sheen. Uh, the only helicopter pilot on the force who can fly, fly to the city and back in under two hours. Hmm. Sam Samuel Mundy. He's not a crazed assassin, but he doesn't work for the police department either. Looks like he was hired for a job. Uh, by the way, Mr. Mundy is actually the sniper's real name. I forget what his first name was, though. But, but yeah, mu but yeah, Mr. Mundy. Uh, yep, that's the sniper. James Lancelot frequently eats at those medieval restaurants. Oh, I get it, because his name is Lancelot. Ha! Claims his family used to be nobles way back when. Dave Pampa. He was fired fired from his previous job, job for negligence. He bounced back quickly, though, and found a new job as a security guard. Okay, this guy I know is this guy. The guy who, the guy who messed up and did not check that package. Kurt Dietrich. This guy hates going to work. Not to mention they paired him with some annoying newbie. Gah! Joseph Joe. He may not look it, but he's a scrappy guy. He's not itching for a fight, but he won't back down if challenged. Jimmy D. Lewis. Goes by Tim. Did I say Timothy or yeah, I said Timothy? He works his shit. His workshop usually involves running a nightly patrol. Alexander Garb. He's scared of heights and birds. Oh no. He's the one guy that got grabbed by the pterodactyl. Tony Franz. He's secretly in the mafia. He got placed here so that he could launder money. Wait, is he in the top act land then? Clyde Jenkins, a standard level employee at the Center for Chaos Containment. CCC protocol requires you to run action by superior officer. Hence why he had to call this guy Corporal Bill Bullet. <sighs> bullet. A bullet bill. Really? Are you serious? The person in charge at the Center for Chaos Containment Central Branch. He's pretty lax and trusts his agents to do their jobs well. I just look at his name and I just sigh. I just sigh. Man, and now we're into infiltrating the airship. Henry Stickman, captured by the government, he's been he's been given the chance to clear his name by taking down the notorious Top Hat Clan. Captain Galeforce. Really? Galeforce? Okay. The man in charge of the undercover Top Hat raid. He it was his idea to recruit Henry. Charles Kelvin. A veteran helicopter pilot for the government. He's one of the youngest and most experienced pilots. Oh yeah, no, I believe it. Rupert Price. He's moved. He's moved quickly through the. He's moved up through the ranks quickly. He felt. He felt he could do more in the military than he was as a policeman. Rupert Price. I'm pretty sure. Was it this guy? No. Wait, yeah, Rupert. Pr Oh, wow, this guy again? He was 
He was chasing you down in this and stealing the diamond, and now he's one of the gar guards in the military. Huh. Man, pe man, people move through quickly. Anyway, Reginald Copperbottom, the current leader of the Topak Clan. He wears the hat of the previously dethroned leader, hence why he wears two hats. Right hand man. He's the top hat chief's right hand. Right hand. Nobody knows his true name. Jeffrey Plum. His abnormally large head makes it difficult to difficult for him to see. Hmm. Sledge McRush. He he could swing a sledgehammer faster than most people swing a blade. Yeesh, he must be pretty freaking strong if he can swing a sledgehammer faster than most people swing a blade. Okay, okay someone dangerous in the top back clan. If you look at his hat, it's kind of worn. Hat Hans Spearman, bit of a loose cannon. He's known for stabbing wildly with a with great range. Well, yeah, he's using a spear. Hatch man, nicknamed as such because he watches the hatch like a doorman, but for hatches. <laughs> slice. Oh, I get it because he has a slice right here. Took a blade to the face during an encounter. Now he prefers to stay behind the scenes. I don't blame him. If I got into a scuffle that actually scarred my face, yeah, I, I prefer, I prefer to stay on the desk. We already talked to this guy. Like, this guy... Yeah, this is the guy... He joined the Top Hat Clan after... You know, after... After stealing the... After uh, escaping the prison. Magnus Erickson. An eager new member looking to move up in the ranks. Floyd Winters. He picked out the most stylish hat he could find when he joined. Dreams of opening a worm farm one day. Okay. Why a worm farm? Dripper Daniels. He's been hooked on the hot new mobile game called Between Us 2. Between Us. Hmm. What is that a reference to? to? I, I know that it's probably a reference to Rupert Daniels, but, uh, but, uh, where do I, where have I heard that name? But yeah, what is, I know that's a reference to something, but I can't put my name on, I can't put my finger on it. Douglas Merle. He's not a fan of being airborne. He's looking to transfer to a different division. Hmm. Wilhelm Kur Kurgis. He's pretty sharp when it comes to technology. The airship's doors are just notoriously finicky. Oh, that's the guy you get his card key from and then you bone melt him. Handsome Harold. He considers himself the face of the top hats. With eight... With 18 charisma, he's good at talking his way out of out of a bad situation. But that's what... Oh, wow. So this guy put all of his points into charisma, and that's why he can't take a hit worth a damn. I don't think that's a reference to Handsome Jack. It's... I think this is more of a D&D &D reference. Well, maybe it is a reference to Handsome Jack. I'm not sure. Either way, either way, though, this is what happens when you dump all your points into Charisma. You can't take a hit worth a damn.
face this. What? Uh, if a uh, if someone uh, has like eighteen chari- eighteen charisma, does that mean they can't take a hit worth a damn? No, it just means you have a very high presence. Mm. Charisma is just one. Okay, I thought it was. I thought if you dumped all your stats into charisma, you can't take a hit worth a damn. So that's what I know. This is why I don't. This is why I'm not very good in D and D anyway. Either way, alcohol. Alcohol. A novice photographer. He took a. He took up one of the rooms on the airship to develop his photos to perfection. And now I feel bad for ruining those. Matthew Norbert. Norbert. He joined the top ass because he couldn't really think of anything better to do. Hmm. Benjamin Boris. Loves playing single player, linear, story heavy video games. Eh, yeah, some people some people enjoy those. Thomas Chesh- Chestershire, he wears two monocles for twice the class. Why not just wear glasses then? Like seriously. Uh Oldman. He's actually not that old, but the gray hair caused everyone to give him the nickname. Ha. Herb Stokes, a master crane operator. He he's invented four tricks you can only do with a crane. Hmm. Hello, Abby the Star. Welcome to the stream, dude. Make yourself at home. Cool Katie. She gave herself the title Cool Katie. Will it stick? Two Ton Tony. <laughs> he switched from the Mafia to the Top Act Clan. They had a more flexible Ira. Hours and more stylish gear. Two ton Tony. Oh, brother. Cup of... Cup of Joe! <laughs> Are you serious? Uh, I don't know, Abby the Star. I know it's on Steam. At, ver- at the very least. He volunteered for the tech support job so that he could be alone and mess around on the computer. I'm going to guess that Civ 5 is his game. Hello from the USA, then, Abby the Star. Let's see. Terrence Suave. The pr- oh. This guy's the previous leader of the Top Hat clan. He was overthrown because of his reckless nature and poor leadership. Oh, so that's his hat. Let's see. Sir Wilford the Fourth. Fourth of his name, one of the strongest leaders in Top Hat clan history. Yeah, this guy this guy looks pretty tough. Billy G. Well he was quite the romantic, despite multiple claims that he's not my lover. <sighs> Billy Joel. That's fine, Abby's Abizar. TRNK, a failed experiment in resurrecting a long dead leader. Didn't last long before he turned on everyone. And this is why you don't revive the dead. Never turns out well. Jarsh Finks. He's con- secretly con- been cons- he's secretly been considering leaving the Top Act clan. Yeah, it's a little too dangerous sometimes. Manual friend. Free. He was so eager to finally fly on the airship. It was his dream ever since he joined the Top Act clan. And look what happened. Harrobots! <laughs> He'll never admit it, but he joined the Top Act clan. To get back at everyone that made fun of his name growing up. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe that's a thing. Rahunda Pounda. 
Ronda gonna get pound, gonna pound ya. Ronda gonna pound ya. Oh my god. Boy! Mr. Blank was on track for a doctorate, but ran into financial troubles. He joined the Top Hat Clan in hopes of funding himself again. Oh, that's why his hat's white. Hmm. Mac, Mac Damper. He follows orders. All, all his money goes into his flower shop back home. Hmm. Flex Hamley. A meathead. Unleash him and he's like a mad dog. Naruto Kage. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, Justin. He learned the secret technique to running way faster. Plus a bit. Nertokage. I get it. Nertokage. I... Plus it makes it harder to get hit by bullets. That's a Naruto reference, if I've ever seen one. Bob Haas. Like Bob Ross. This is his first out mission outside of training. He's really worried he won't do a good job. Joe Hunter, he was, he was hoping to see some action in the Top Hat mission. Good thing Henry failed then. Good, good thing Henry failed, hit failed then. Joe Hunter. Hmm. Rai, ooh, I had a feeling his name was going to be something like that. He joined the Top Hat clan in hopes of traveling the world to find the strongest fighters. Uh, Kent. He was betrayed by his friend who left the academy to join the Top Hat Clan. He hopes to bring him back. So, Evil Ryu, so Evil R Ryu, or Ryu, we all know it's Ryu, and Ken in the government. Hmm. Well, shit. Samuel Mundy. He was contracted out in case a large battle with the Top Hats broke out. Okay, so he's back from stealing the diamond. And, of course... Jacques Latouche. A sneaky devil. He tries to disguise himself as members of the enemy ranks, though his top hat never disappears. <laughs> we all know that's... We all know that... That top hat's a spy! Mr. Brimley. Where's his hat super low, which makes it a bit difficult to see, honestly. Sammy, sorry. He refuses to ever apologize for anything on principle. Okay, then. Nate Box. He was call, called into action before he passed his close quarters combat training. Oh, boy. Poor Nate. Quick draw. Yeah, I know, Colin. This, like that's why the spy is the one that killed the killed the sniper. Like unless you have a, unless you have the Razorback, usually, usually you really want to watch your back for snipers. Quick draw. One of the fattest, fastest shooters in the Top Hat Clan. His accuracy is not so good though. Oh, that's what hap happens when you just shoot rapidly. Goo guy. Really. One awkward, one awkward conversation about goo on your first day, and that's all you're known for? Wilson Stone. The director of this branch of the CCC. His employees agree he's one of the best CCC directors. Uh, was he the guy in charge of it? No, that's Clyde Jenkins. Okay. Larry Gordon. For someone who works at a center for chaos containment, he doesn't take the news of chaos very well. Abigail Stone. Wife of Wilson Stone. His time, his time away can be tough, but they've weathered many years together. Timmy Stone. Son of Wilson and Abigail Stone. He loves spending time with his dad when he comes back from work. Man, that made that ending all the more heart. That made that fail all the more heartbreaking, man. Mert Steele. Really? 
creator of the mobile suit prototype, along with his along with his brother. He sketched up the schematics and did the math. Nobody said there'd be math. Kurt Steele. Creator of the mobile suit prototype along with his brother. He constructed and engineered the suits. Mordecai Booker. Cool suits. Can I try? Dave Pampa. For one reason or another, he's been captured by the Topak clan and now sits in their brig. Wait. Dave Pampa? Oh, shit. How did he get in there? Let's see. Let's see. He was... Let's see. Yeah. Dave Pampa. And then that's... Dave... Huh. I wonder how he got in there. Poor Dave. He just... Poor Dave. He can't catch a break, can he? Let's see. This time... And now we're into... Fleeing the co fleeing the complex. Back in jail, huh? The icy cold cells of the wall will be hard to escape from. Ellie Rose, she's locked up in this place too, but why? Dmitri Yonas Petrov, the warden of the wall. There hasn't been any sort of breakout in the in the fifty years he's been in charge. Charles Kelvin. He doesn't mind helping out an old ally, even if he's currently on a mission. Reginald Copperbottom. Seems he's been managing the top paths in, Harry, in Henry's absence. He'll have to go go back to being second soon. Heathstone. He guards the storage room with his friend. Right. Okay, this is the guy that was talking about Hearthstone. Hearthstone. Sorry. They love to talk about their favorite mobile card game. Isaac Benderson. He guards the storage room with his friend. He loves collecting random trinkets. Horace Johnson. One of the guards responsible for the cell block patrol. It's it's not that eventful unless all the doors just happen to open. <laughs> Mike Mulligan. Kind of a slacker. He likes to find a secluded place and mess around on his phone. Hmm. Abraham Jocelyn. A jelly lad. When in a good good mood, he treats his friends to to lunch on the break. Huh, nice guy. Joris Borger doesn't speak English too well, but he's found but he's found a crew at work that he loves to hang out with. Travis Ump he enjoys his job at the wall because he gets to hang out and chill with his friends. That doesn't mean he slacks off. Huh, nice group of friends. Olaf Nordgen. He usually makes his own lunch, but won't turn down a free meal. Nikolai Dytram, a master of the sal salve squat. He runs a class on it twice a week in the rec room. Hmm. Yeah, geez, that's that's uh, that's a tough squat to do. And then, and he just does that. Mattis Guardsmith. Don't tell anyone, but his mom. Mom bought him those earmuffs, and he's a bit embarrassed about it. I don't know why. I mean, those those would those would help in a in a cold place. Gary Mann. Nothing. Rise and shine. Let's see. Captain Laszlo Ukovic. The captain of the naval division of the wall. He is in charge he's in charge of the one ship, the only one the wall has. Milish Kurowski, a recruit in the wall's naval forces. They run sea based they run sea based retrieval operations. Thorman Relic, Rylock. He finds his work post fairly dull and uneventful. He relishes a challenge. I guess that's why he was so eager to shoot me. Frederick Spleen, one 
one in a group of members that doesn't speak any English. He supposedly speaks German. I don't know about that. Harold Copper got the job at the wall through his German friend. His English isn't the best, but he's fluent in German. Okay, so that's the guy standing next to this guy. Will Speck. He's the type of guy that won't stop trash talking the other team when watching a sports game, even if they can't hear. Oh, you're the guy that was booing me. What a jerk. Yeah, no kidding, Ryan. Louis, Louis Stoop. He likes his job at the wall, but hates being stationed out in the cold. I don't blame him. Coca Kolinsky. Coca Kolinsky. Oh, I get it. It's like Coca Cola. He used to fight professionally, but after losing to a first time fighter, he hung it up to work at the wall. Coca Kolinsky. <sighs> oh, wait, that's right. I was muted. Andre War Warzo. People people have said he u used to lead armies. He really knows his way around a tank, so maybe there's some truth. Kardalov Chernik, a master swordsman hired by the wall to train the employees. His skill with the, bl with the blade is something to behold. <laughs> Too bad he never got to show it. Carl Pinkerton. He may not look it, but he's traveled the world. His head's his head's looking a little orange. His head's looking a little orange. Like an orange, isn't it? I forgot I muted my sound. Can you... Nunet Stoneheel. The Stoneheel family is known for their strangely dense feet. Oh, No wonder they're kicked to the nuts heart. Well, a kick to the nuts would always hurt, but... Ugh, that's the guy that kicks you in the nuts. Ugh. Ugh, that's... That's painful. Franz Fjord. Honestly, he's pretty clueless most of the time. He's just meant to look menacing with a spear. Daniel Dulsch. He's lived in the area all his life and really knows how to handle the environment. I see. Abby, I... Okay, Abby, I'm not going... I'm not going to play any other game. As soon as I'm done reading all these bios, uh, I'm basically going to call it. And I don't like when people's like, play some other game. I really don't like it. And I don't know any any Hindi songs. Sorry. That's going to the wrong guy for that. Let's see. The Moy Krutz. They call him... They called him DK for a while. It's short for doesn't know how to drive. He says gotten his license. <laughs> they called him DK because it was short for doesn't know how to drive. <laughs> okay. That's funny. Jimothy Johnston, they've never had to take take the cars out before, so he's really just winging it. Winging it. Lee Bumbler, he dreams of starting his own gaming company. He's already got a name picked out, named after himself. Lee, Lee Bumbler? Hmm, Lee Bumbler. Or, or is it just Bumbler?
Dang it. I feel like I should know that, but uh, I'm, I'm just drawing a blank. Abby, I'm not playing any music. I'm reading. Like, Abby the Star, I'm not going to play any music. I'm reading right now. And honestly, that's going to distract people as I'm trying to read. So could you please not ask for music? Uh, but anyway, no, no, I can't, I can't, I feel like that's a reference to something, but I can't put my finger on it. Mm. Willie Wagner, a fairly recent employee of the wall, still getting into the swing of things. Mm. Nadia Mer Merkava. She's here as part of an internship. Her real dream is to open up her own complex. Hmm. Wallace Pemberton. He spent three years undercover at the wall, waiting for the right time to bust out all the captured Top Hat members. Oh, so that's why he was there. Jim Pinkson. He loves je jelly and jelly sandwiches. There's some... Isn't that just, isn't that just toast on jelly? Isn't that just jelly on toast? Huh? Yeah, whatever. Kado Ito. He's known, he's known how to bend since childhood. He's kept it a secret until this moment. Kado Ito. Huh. I feel like I should know that, but God, I am blanking on some of these references. But yeah, we. Yeah, Kadoito. Damn, I feel like I should not. I feel like that's a reference to something, but God, I can't place it. I know that should be an Avatar reference, but God, I'm just. God, I'm... Ah. Nope. Nope. I'm just blanking. Yeah, Kado. Kado Ito. I know I know he's an avatar reference because he's an earthbender, but still. Ryan Halbert, one of the youngest employees at the wall. His dad is one of the higher ups, so he gets special treatment. Hmm. Let's see. Joe Joshin. Just Joshin ya. He's heard that joke about seven million times. I feel you, dude. I whenever I'm playing whenever I'm playing Mabinogi or something and I introduce myself, I get the snake 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 joke. Like like about eighty about seventy percent of the time. I've heard it so many times. So yeah, I know how you feel. Gordon Smith. Having a newborn at home causes him to lose a lot of sleep. He's been falling asleep at work a lot lately. Wait, Gordon Smith, isn't he the guy that... No, it's not. I know I saw him earlier, but I'm not going to worry about it. Wait, wait, hold on. I think I know where he is. Isn't it, isn't it this guy? No, it's Stone. That's Matt Smith. Smith. He's been he's been falling asleep at work a lot lately. Oh, all oh, right, you're right, Ryan. Yeah, that's Smith. It's fine, Chi. We got it. Joey, Joey Walnut tends to order enough food for three people and eat it all on his own. Jeez. It, 
Uh, uh, no, no, that's that. I was gonna say that sounds like Chi, but actually, no, she doesn't eat. She doesn't eat enough food for three people. But I, but I am glad that you're here, honey. Salman. Oh, I'm I'm sorry, goddess. Like how often do you get a joke about your name? He forgets to bring his uniform in into wor work at least once a week. Sten Velo. His favorite po post is on the fire escape. He can watch the snow fall into the ocean below. Hmm. Nice. Eh, I don't know. I don't know, goddess. Let's see. But yeah, let's see. For two. No. <laughs> you know what? That's true, Chi. <laughs> That's very true. That's very true, Chi. That's very true. You were eating for two for a while. Let's see. Uh, Kurdru John. Jansen, he gets a lot of slack for wearing sunglasses at night. That's just his style, baby. I'm pretty sure I've seen you before. Uh, no, I have not. Jesus, I, I'm getting wrong. A lot of wrong answers. Yeah, I completed it 100%. I'm just reading through the bios. Let's see. Alec, Alex Kempter. He's been trying... He's been trying to get a SAM turret installed in the complex for years, but can't get through the bureaucracy. Huh. Bureaucracy. Okay, I know you. Uh, Arnold Schwarz. Are you kidding me? Always the loudest one in the room. His voice is booming for his size. Uh that name hurts. That one hurt. Uh, like, seriously, you could not be more obvious. <sighs> seriously, some of these names, man. Wilhelm Kurgris. Oh, I'm sorry. It's it's fine, honey. I'm sorry. Hello, Raiju Im Irmo, welcome to the stream, dude. Make yourself at home. All right, gee, I'm sorry. It was, I was just, it was just a small joke. Anyway, he may struggle with technology, but when it comes to action and combat, he excels. Sure shot Sherman. One of the top, one of the top riflemen in the top act clan. He's leading the mission to rescue Henry. Thomas Chestershire. He's enjoyed Henry's brief leadership. People could tell he, he was bummed out when Henry went missing. Hmm. Mr. Cool. He rarely speaks. His charisma speaks for himself. Wild Willie. He thinks he's a prospector from the 1800s. <laughs> seems he went when uh, seems he went of a went of a bit of a bit of a rampage, granting him a stay at the wall. Gastro, a practitioner of the dark arts of fecromancy, he's a toilet wizard. Uh, moving on. Punkasser. He he's part of a notorious German biker gang. He is the only member to have been caught so far. Hmm. Oba. Found frozen deep in the snow of Solbard. After thawing out, he regained consciousness and became hostile. Angry Mike, a wanderer traveling in the desert. He became notorious in the area and had to be collected. Hmm. Well, at least he covers his face. 
Jack Stick. Damn it! We all know what that's a reference to! A crazy loud Irishman. Not quite sure what he did to get locked up here, but he probably deserves it. Jack uh, Hi, Sean. Top of the morning to you, laddies. Oh, God, these names. Okay. H.E., you gotta admit, this one's kind of funny. <laughs> Jack's... Oh, God. Gus Gardner. This guy is a, this guy is a four armed air alien. Oh jeez, he does. Apparently, he used to be a big time racer. I don't know if that was a mistake or what, but yeah, he has four arms. Ace Apex, the reddest dude at the wall. Just a total bro. Oh, you're right. Let's see. I see what you mean, Ryan. Okay, I didn't. Melvin Poolridge, even though he's extremely nerdy, he, he loves hanging out with the boys. Derek Gulrick doesn't have much of a sense of humor, at least during work hours. Colby Phelps. <sighs> you, man, some of these names are just way too obvious. Thinks of himself as something of a detective. He can easily become hostile if he suspects any foul play. That is an L.A. Noir reference, and that's why he was named that. Dan the Man. He wanted to go by Dan of Steel, but it was taken. Okay. Lil Mikey. He's honestly not supposed to be locked up at the wall. He was just in the wrong place at the wrong time and took the fall for someone else. Pierre Francois, the most notorious baguette burglar in France. Baguette burglar? What the heck? He was finally captured when he tried to take down the biggest bakery in all of France. Huh. Babuska. While Babuska is a female term, he wears a title with pride. He has a soft interior and looks out for the down downtrodden. Okay, you go, Babuska. Carl the Clown. He ran a huge cir circus scam ten years ago. He avoided the bus multiple times by dressing like a clown. Hmm. Polis Petrovich. He won a sweepstakes and, and got to name a planet after himself. Pet hmm. I don't know Petrovich. Kyle Baxter. He he's actually the wall's CCC liaison. Their goal is to get a prior is to get priority during any possible chaos incidents. Huh. I, I was wondering why he had that hat. Sean S. E. Lemming. A natural leader, mainly because it's the role he was assigned. I get it I get it. His name is is Lemming, so yeah. Ma Markamu. <laughs> Marky Moo. Uh, okay, that one's a bit more subtle, and you might have missed it if you don't know it. Yeah, he said he'd he said he'd try not to laugh, but then he laughed. That's grounds for capture. <laughs> Mark. Yeah, at least that one's a bit subtle. Misha Shashvo. He used to be part of a crazy group of mercenaries. He was the only one to be captured, and he's honestly probably the most sane one now. P. 
Peter Whalens. He did one of those scare people to bring down the land value so he could buy it for cheap ruses. But was foiled by a group of kids and their dog. Ah ha ha ha! Scooby Doo reference! Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? Sorry. Ray Rudolfol. Misha? No, uh, no, me. Yeah, it might be the heavy, uh, Ryan, but uh, I don't think so. Uh, Shashavo. Misha Shashavo. But no, I don't think that's, I don't know if that's the heavy or not. Anyway, let's see. He's come down with a case of leprosy, so he's been put in quarantine with the other sickly in inmates. And we're finally at completing the mission. Henry Stickman. What could happen next? Reginald Cop Copperbottom. Being the leader of the Top Hat Clan is something he takes a lot of pride in. See you, Vincent. Right Hand Man Reborn. He His defeat by Henry left him in bad shape. Cybernetic surgery brought him back stronger than ever before. Ellie Rose. After escaping from the wall, things have really opened up. What is in store for her? Liam Rogers, an elite helicopter pilot. He usually calls dibs on the bigger helicopters. Huh. Vance Kite. He's heard it all. Don't try to talk your way out of an arrest with this guy. Jack Dugan. A sniper from New Zealand. Zealand. He was specifically recruited by the Top Hat Clan in an Avengers-esque end credit scene. Hmm. Jack Dugan. I see. Yeah, I get. I get you got us. Let's see. Frankie Pizza. <laughs> he dreamed of playing for the Boston Boston Celtics, but his basketball skills were never good enough. Norm Hexter, tech specialist in the government's ranks. He designed this EMP system. Howard Lipton. If he, do if he doesn't have his morning tea, then he's completely useless in the field. Lipton tea? Are you serious? Victoria Grit, one of the strongest captains in the Top Hat Raid. She has se several successful missions under her belt. Gerald Gruff, his voice is about two octaves below average. Billy Brown, for seven years he's never washed behind his ears. Gross. Or Orban Lant, he's very... He's very high strung. Being a soldier might not have been a good career path for him. Dandy loans. Dandy. Oh, Dandy Lions. God dang it! He's found the perfect combination of laundry detergents. The scent is the most amazing thing. Oh my god. Dandy. Dandy. Oh, brother. Major. Major Herschel Panzer. This is the first time this combat suit is in the field. He has a son working hard in the police force. Okay, so I've actually heard him. Okay, so that's someone else. Okay. Lucas Broomhandle, the youngest of five siblings. He takes a new hob takes a new hobby every week. Lucas Broomhandle. Huh. June, July. <laughs> she was born in August. 
<laughs> okay, good joke. Very good joke. Okay, I will give that joke there. Timu Sumu, Sumui. She was born. She grew up in Finland. I mean, he grew up in Finland, so he doesn't require sunlight to function properly. Ollie Andreen. He's addicted to baking shows. He always tries to bake along, but fails after ten minutes. Gary Atrix. He's getting up there in age, but he's still a spry and any and any youngin in the squad. Squad. Wow, I'm getting. Meryl Golden Goldenfold. He's always he's always wanted to grow a cool beard, but it never quite comes comes in all the way. I know you're pain, dude. This is one of the reasons why I don't grow it. Why I don't grow mine out. Uh, so, like, I'm pretty sure the next stream I do, guys, you're probably not going to see my beard. Anthony Lee. When he was three, he ate a bumblebee. Yikes. Frederick Munster. His hat is literally made of cheese. Nobody, nobody will bunk with him. All part of the plan. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, I see the green spots on it. Smoot. Smooshed Sammy. Oh, because his hat smooshed. His first day in the Top Hat Clan, he fell on his hat and it got smooshed. The name just kind of stuck. Pablo Sleuth. An ace detective in the Top Hat ranks. There's no problem he can't eventually sol solve, and he's always armed. Captain H.J. Canterber Canterbury. He's one of the men in charge of information gathery gathering. He has a brother who works in the police force. Canterbury. I'm if I had to guess. He has a brother that works in the police force. Canterbury. Dang it. Oh, here he is. Captain Roland Canterbury. Yeah. Okay, anyway. Thomas Chips. His father, Alan, is a co-founder of the Electronics Entertainment Expo. Huh. Alan Chip. Hmm. So he... So his father founded E3? Huh. Philbert... Philbert Philbert. <laughs> That's funny. He's part of the checkpoint inspection team, but he really wanted to just sit on the train. Jim Pulp. He's the type of person that always passes out on a trip. Yeah, I know how that feels. Darius Johnsonite. He's a he's a gemstone appraiser within the Top Hat Clan. He evaluates how much their stolen gems are worth. Mr. Job. He was going to start his own computer business, but someone but was beat to the punch by someone with the same name. <laughs> ah! Steve Jobs, I get it. <laughs> Recipe Steve Jobs. Joan Scone. Hold the phone. Is that Joan Scone, the one that owns all the loans? Nice rhyming there. Al the Pal. His high charisma made him a valuable member of the clan. Nobody has ever reported it reported having issues with him. Hmm. Stanley Grass. He has two blades of grass growing out of the top of his head, and he's very sensitive about it. Wallace Dagwood. He used to be he used to be on the front lines, but took a bad hit to the face. He's been running more of a support role since. Yeah, no, that's a pretty that's a pretty big scar. Ice pick. Since his, since 
his station and snowy in a snowy environment, he wanted a cool nickname. Now he's stuck with it. Sten Ludgren, a regular at the establishment, he comes in every day to read the newspaper and have a cup of coffee. Helmut Vykov, fresh out of a bar fight, he's been lying there for a solid three hours. Perry Sherman, he likes collecting the bottles from all the patrons. He wor works a long shift every day, so he's usually pretty pooped. Oh, okay, so he's not drunk. He's just got a weird hobby. Mysterious Vagabond, a drifter who's come into the town into town lately. Seems like he's not just passing through. Kane West. Like Kanye West. Damn it. Just take out an E. He was in the music production business, but one plagiarism acquisition later, he gave up and joined the top ads. Right hand man. He still serves as Reginald's number two. His extreme loyalty is is what a top at member should strive for. Sal Malone. I feel like I know that name. He used to be in the mafia, but he but wanted to branch out because he felt there were already too many Italians. You know what? That's fair. Mr. Lincoln. <laughs> He's not related to the president. He just looks a lot like him. <laughs> Whitehead. He wanted to be named after a snake, but most people just think of pimples when they hear his name. Eh, poor guy. Oh, okay, yeah, Sal Malone, Al Capone, I get it. Patty Pride. Purple's his favorite drink. Yep, that tasted purple. Henry Stickman. He kept getting, getting harassed for being a criminal. Eventually, he be he became fed up and joined the top hats to make it true. Oh, that's Henry Stick Man! He kept getting harassed for being a criminal. Eventually, he became fed up and joined the top hats to make it true. B. Hampton, the head concierge of Stickman Space Resort. He was one of the first top hats to convert and helped with the transition of the others. Oh, I get it. Like the Hampton Hotel. I got it. Carlos Candelia. He's bad at pool. Like, really bad at pool. I mean, look at that technique. Just sad. Elizabeth Green. She's here on her honeymoon. One of the Stickman Space Resort's most common bookings. Lars Green. He's here with his wife for, for their honeymoon. Both of them have always wanted to go to space. Snowcap. He picked a far off station so he wouldn't need to do much work. N nice. M Clement Warrantine. Nice. He was fed up driving trucks for a living, so he turned to smuggling. Now he's one of the Top Hat's best drivers. Mr. Macbeth. He's often been compared to an ape, which he ta takes as a compliment. He hates it when people don't take him seriously. Now, I hear you, Mr. Macbeth. Blast Connors. Oh, because he rides the cannon. Ha! His ego is one of the biggest in the entire Top Act clan. Matilda Ivy. She, ha she, is probably she has probably the coolest hair out of any Top Act member, and she knows it. I feel like that's a reference to something, but I'm not sure. And M.F. Jones. If you mess with him, he will mess you up. His full name is Millhouse Fillmore Jones. Okay, then. Bar Bartolomeo. An opera, an opera singer who, who was refused payment after a show. The top back line offered him the revenge he was seeking. Bartolomeo. I get it. Larry the guy. Why are you asking about cables? He doesn't know anything about that. Larry the cable guy. That's funny. All right. We're almost there, guys. Grunt. He showed up 
to the top back clan dressed like this. They're not going to turn on a great fighter, though. Mischievous Martin, part of the planning division of the top in the Top Hat Clan. He used to run legendary pranks. Mr. Teal. He thinks his hat is teal, but it's more of a cyan, really. Don, Mag Don Miguel. His RPG character owns a magical shop. Or was it a ship? Give me one sec. Let's see. Where is there a ship? Don Miguel. I'm pretty sure I should know that. His RPG character on... Hmm. Can't. Nope. Can't remember. Hmm. General Gale Force. The results of the airship raid seem to have led to a large promotion. He's now a specialist in dealing with the top hats. Charles Calvin. He's experienced with multiple different types of flying vehicles. He gets brought in for special missions only. Smoka Tyson. A chain smoker if I ever saw one. He smokes a pack an hour, but it gives him some kind of power. Jeez. Uh, Mario. Every time he jumps, he makes a super loud noise, like a tennis player. Luigi. Even though he's taller, he's always been in his brother's shadow. He really doesn't mind, though. The Witch. The Top Top Hat Clan's main herbalist. She totally embraced her nickname, so she could be rather odd. Sheriff, just one of the many political figures the Top Act clan has in their pocket. The Ruffian. He's usually out in the front lines for the Top Act clan. His hat has taken a lot of damage over the years. Yeah, look at it. It's pretty ragged. Tin Tin Tin. Tin Tin Tin. He can only say one word. The details are unclear, but I think time travel is involved. Tin. Ten, ten. Nope, that one's going over my head. Ten, ten, ten. Or is it because his name is TT? I don't know. Oh, the adventures of Tintin. Okay. Uh, Gone Hunter. He loves rock, paper, scissors, but always throws rock. Losing never crushes his spirits, though. I'm pretty sure that's gone uh, from uh, Hunter Hunter. Ken Genpon. He's got a hole in his face and is a master of rock, paper, scissors. People feel weaker after losing to him. I, I think that's a Hunter Hunter reference. I'm not sure. Carol Cross, one of the higher-ups in, in the clan. She's extremely strict and by the books. You don't want to cross her. Ha. Stu Pendles. A series of events have caused him to owe money to Carol Cross. This is very bad for him. Bucket hat. I mean, bucket that. Yeah, bucket hat. Bucket hat. <laughs> Five eyes. He's where he wears glasses so he could be called four eyes. Where's the fifth eye? Fifth eye gamer. I think we found. I think we found a new avatar picture for you. Uh, hold on. I need to take a picture of this.
Talin Circus. He was recruited out of the circus. He is an acrobatic wizard and really difficult to deal with in a fight. Well, yeah, have you seen it? Have you seen anyone in D&D with acrobatics? They're really hard to nail down. At least I think. Crusher. He could crush an apple in his bare hand. That's about it. The Magician. He could pull your spleen right out of his hat. He used to be a professional wrestler, but that ended very poorly. Yeah, I bet. Ugh. Mr. Fatlip. He's got a pretty bad lisp. He's not actually a big fan of his nickname, but it's really hard to change these things. Ha. Huh. Scar. He dips He dips I dips I dis, dips it. He dips the name after the previous Scar was defeated. Oh, he inherited the name. Okay. Edrodro Goincarlo, a master pickpocket. He actually sought out the Topak clan and joined them. Usually it's the other way around. Jeremy Steinfeld. He lives in an apartment in New, in New York and wonders what the deal with everything is. I wonder if that's, Se if that's a Seinfeld reference or if I'm missing something. J.F. Constanza. He's very neurotic and constantly causing problems for himself. Top bot. A top of the line robot built for missions that go hot. Hannibal Burns. You can never tell if he's paying attention because he always looks so relaxed. Smokestack. People think the nickname is because of the hat, but it's but actually he's a pyromaniac. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Dusty. One of the one of the longest runs as a leader of the top hat. He moves so slowly, people often thought he was dead. Until eventually he was. I think I saw his hat in the vault. Now that I think about it. Cloudface. He lost his position as leader because people couldn't understand his commands through his beard. Ha! Yeah. Randy Radman. Ran the Top Hat clan through the party era. Things were a blast until they were bankrupt. Yeesh. Rando the Brute, one of the fiercest leaders the Top Hat Clan has ever had. Unfortunately, he was lost in combat. Well, well, at least he went out doing something fun. Sir Wilford IV. Oh, we've seen this guy. He defeated the previous leader to claim the title. He despises incompetence. Yeah, basically, Ryan. Terrence Suave, one of the worst leaders the Top Hat Clan has ever had. He would launch raids that made no sense just for the thrill. Mr. Skyscraper. He's got a tall hat, so of course he needs a tall nickname. Eh, yeah, that makes sense. Earrings. Her earrings function for battle purposes besides looks. They can blind people with a bright flash. I believe it. Red Crimson. He thinks his name is pretty awesome, but it's pretty redundant if you ask me. Yeah, Red Crimson? Seriously, dude? Joax King Kensington. A bit of an eccentric leader. He always wa walked around with a gold daggle in his head. In his hand. Oh, I see. He's an Irishman. I think. Sven Svensson. He took over leadership when the previous leader and right-hand man went missing. Gus Bricks. Hit the bricks, pal. You're done. He said that joke about 80 times during the arrests. Sir Hattie. He's always crying. People think it's from the loss of his old friends. Aww. Chip Crumb. He's got some crappy second secondhand top hat when he joined. He's really been rethinking his membership lately. Brian Reynolds. Nice. He could have been he could have been a model, but wanted to do something more important with his life. I think that's a stab at Ryan Reynolds. Huh. Oh yeah, I guess that is a battle block reference, Ryan. I just never caught it. John Frog Pil Pilkson. We all know why. 
a master when it comes to stealth and infiltration. Battle block theory. I have never played it, so I, I kind of missed it, but I thought he looked familiar. Yes, we all know who this is a reference is reference in. Gordon Eel Banks, a tech wizard. If it's electronic, he can work his magic. Amelia Turtle Esteban, demolitions expert. She loves blowing stuff up and hates when things take too long. I know how you feel. <clears throat> Mr. Goldblum. He used to be a CEO before he was found embezzling funds to the Top Hat Clan. Yikes. Howie Howitzer. Nice. He was an orphan taken in by the Top Hat Clan. They give him a they gave him a name in hopes he'd live up to it. He hasn't. Okay, so he's not a howitzer. Pink Man. He's not affiliated with any chemistry creatures or cartels. He just has a pink hat. Huh. Oh, I get it. It's Pinkman. I get it. I think I'm pretty sure that's a Breaking Bad reference. I just got that. All right. I think I think the one of the I think uh, what the student of uh, I think the student of the chemistry teacher was named Pinkman. I get it. Hold on. But yeah, like Jesse Pinkman, that's right. Uh it's a just it's a breaking bad reference. So anyway. Ambert Downs. This is his first tour and he knew it would be a doozy. Rupert Price. He's been going on more and more intense missions ever since his police days. Dang this guy I feel like this guy has been in just about every game except fleeing the complex. Bort Sampson. He thought he had a unique name, but he's met at least five other Borts. I think I've seen a couple Borts in this game. Bort, 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 Bort. Ha. Mr. Thick. One of the Top Hat's best chefs. He, he makes the fattest burgers and juiciest steaks. Maybe I'll. Peanut. It's ironic because he has a peanut allergy. Ha. The leprechaun. He totally embraces his, his appearance. He's even adopted a terrible fake Irish accent to complete the ensemble. <laughs> Ali, Ali Jean. Ali Jean. Him... Him be like wicked mental. Big up yourself. Uh, moving on. Antonia Sparta. He can kick through a solid steel beam with ease. Ha! So this is Sparta. But I'm. Sorry, I have my sound off. Right hand man blue. He's been rewired to protect Henry at all costs. The tap at, Top Hat Clan loyalty is so deep. Can it really be completely removed? No, it couldn't because this turned into a fail. Steven Willis. He can't do he doesn't do combat at all, but he's often needed to run a support. Wayne the Stone Jensen. Headstrong. He's been wanting to take leadership for a while. He just hasn't found the right opportunity. Rock Cool Steve Dallas. Let's see. He's been waiting for leadership position to open up. He's not going to let it slip out from under him now. Dill Tally. He's always wanted to go on a stealth mission. He tries to be stealthy in every mission he goes on to make up for it. Well, he was hard to get, so he was, a, he was doing his job. Alice Hamilton. The evening reporter at BCC. She's a fairly new reporter, but she's been doing a great job. Nice. Burt Curtis, the head of communications in the Top Act clan. He's the liaison, 
liaison between the leaders and the rest of the recon team. Rock. Oh, I get it. Wayne the Stone. I can't believe I missed that. Yep, no, that's the rock. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense, though. Thanks for catching that, Al. The Marble Man. He's not strong like marble. He just likes marbles. Man, we've seen this guy a few times ever since uh, infiltrating the airship. He's been a top at member for over 40 years. His English has improved throughout the years, but he still has an accent. Well, you're never going to get rid of that. Bloodhound. A master of hunting down people and objects. He is the guy responsible for filling up the brig with bounties. Twain Flergenstow. His hat, his hat wobble technique is something to behold? I don't get it. Sarah Conifers. She is a firm believer that the AI will... I got it. Sarah Conifers. Sarah. Terminator reference. Sarah. Yes. Sarah Conifers. Uh, yeah, Sarah Connor. Yep, that's a Terminator reference. She's a firm bel yeah. As at first, her name slipped by me, but then it's like firm believer that AI will one day try to take over the world, and that's when it hit me. I got it, Sarah Connors. Waxwell Gex. His parents. Named him after a lizard. What was it, a gecko? Ha! Gex reference! Damn, damn, Puffball. You really stuffed in the references, didn't ya? Pandel Toad. His favorite ice cream is Rocky Road. Yahoo! I think it's a reference to, uh, I guess Mario Kart. Elmer Pianzo. He moved out to the middle of nowhere to start fresh. I don't think it's going so well. Marcus Balbert. Balbert. Talk like this, he does. Not sure why I am. Hmm. Gremlin. She's extremely scrappy and feisty. It's rumored she grew up on her own in the woods. I believe it. With a name like that? Mr. Villain. He speaks and behaves like a 1920s movie movie villain. He even has the mustache to match. I don't know if that started before or after he joined the Top Hats. I mean, look at that. Look at that mustache. Hazmat. He really wants a hazmat suit. He's preemptively claim, claimed this name, but who knows how long it'll take to get the suit. Arnold Schwarz. Ah, here you. Ah, you're here now. An elite top at member. His commanding voice is perfect for leading men into battle. Jean Fredrickson. He used to be a mayor, but fled when plans to smuggle a large diamond out of a museum were uncovered. Oh, hello. He was going to smuggle that until I stole it. Huh. Man, it is amazing what you can discover just by reading these things. Hello, Arthur the Awesome Cat. Welcome to the stream, dude. Make yourself at home. I'm just reading off the bios since I've 100%ed uh, the Henry Stickman collection. And I got every single bio in this game. Albert Poshley, one of the one of the wealthiest Top Hat members. He tends to fund most of the expensive operations for high profit. Jacked Human. Oh, I get it. An up-and-coming member in the Top Hat clan. He has yet to make a name for himself. Okay. Paul Ascot. His entire career has just been delivering bad news. That's gotta suck. I see Vincent. Well, I uh, I know that uh, Arthur, but I'm still just but people wanted me to read these, so I'm reading them. 
I know I know a lot of people have already 100%ed the game, but still, uh, I figured this was something extra that I could do since I did it. Let's see. Holy cap! <laughs> the hole in his hat was caused by the laser incident. The bookie. The man in charge of, of cooking the books in the Top Hat clan. He's a big stickler for rules and keeps things in order. Okay. Chuck Wellington. His great-grandfather is the inventor of beef. Alleg allegedly. Ah, I see. Chuck Beef. Fred F <laughs> oh, oh, that's a good one. Oh, that is funny. He always runs around barefoot and shouts a super loud catchphrase. People tend to avoid him. Oh, God, that is... Oh, God, I feel old right now. Yeah, I know what you mean, Arthur, the awesome cat. Dr. V... I can't read it. A solo practitioner that specializes in cybernetic surgery. She travels the world in her boat, which doubles as her workstation. Reference. <laughs> That's the name of him? It's just reference? A short-range spirit. If you are punched by him, you are sent to an alternate timeline. He can also swap places with Henry. <laughs> Mac Dandy. His forgery skills are top of the line. His forged painting paintings are a big source of income for the Top Act clan. Handbag. He would he was down on his luck selling ham out of a bag when he was found found by the Top Hats. Blueberry. He only eats blueberries. Nobody has ever seen him eat, eat anything else. Thomas Chestershire. Yes, we've seen you. He preferred it when Henry was leader of the Top Hat clan. Heck girl! She just, she kind of, she kind of just appeared and joined the ranks. People have said they saw her in a spaceship or something. I see why she's part of the Top Hat clan, because, well, she wears a top hat. Ah, Handsome Harold's back. He's in charge of keeping the Top Hat's collection of information organized Jeffrey Plum he's always been an ideas guy his head is his head is just big though it's not because of an extra large brain I know how you feel man seriously it is really hard to find a hat hat that fits me guys I swear to God barbershop bill oh because he wears one of those hats even though he wears a barbershop hat, he sucks at cutting hair and is even worse at singing a cappella. Then why do you call yourself bar a barbershop guy? De Ugh. A hat does not make the guy. Alfonso Cruz. Alfonso. Alfonso, I get it. Pronouncing the sh is sound is very important. He gets offended if you pro pronounce it as Alfonso. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, I've seen him too, Arthur. Floyd Winters. Unfortunately, his friend Harry doesn't show up in this game. Harry Winters. I, nah, I don't get it. Let's see. Dave Pampa. He spent a long time in a top hat cell. His life will probably never be the same. Poor guy. This guy just could not catch a break in any of these games. Mateo Grutschev, one of the three people at the wall that actually knows how to operate a tank. Dmitry Johannes Petrov. He lost quite a few teeth in the escape incident, so he now speaks with a lisp. All right, because... All right, because when that operation happens, you have Ellie, and she did bash his face in with a stop sign. Yeah, that's going to lose a few teeth. Ten pence. When he joined the Top Act clan, he only had ten p 
to his name. He keeps the name to remember his origins. Huh. Weak sauce. <laughs> He's been on the verge of getting kicked out of the clan multiple times. Mr. Angry. This problem has an actual anger problem. Uh, did I say problem? This guy actually has an actual anger problem. It doesn't help, help him fight or anything. It mostly just distracts everyone. Dima Pensky. This is the first time ever being out of the country. He didn't know he didn't know there was this much green in the whole galaxy. Huh. Dolan Tor Tor Torkov. He has a personal vendetta against the Top Hat clan, so he made sure to come on this mission. Todd Tater. He used he used to be a Spudson, but he may but he married into the Tater family. <laughs> ha. Bill Cook. Before he joined the military, he lived in a house with way too many people. Wait. Is... With way too many people? Hmm. I don't, I don't know if that's a... I don't know if that's a... Uh... Oh, no, wait. I'm thinking of Jeff Dunham. No, never mind. Conrad Bukowski. He joined the military with his twin. They've always been on missions as a pair. Calvin Bukowski. Same thing. Bob Pants. His father was a pants salesman, but he broke tradition and went into the military. Okay. I see we know who wears the pants in this family. But I'm... <laughs> Too many cook. Oh, I get it. Too many cooks in the kitchen. You're right, Arcane. Paul Penn. He claims he, he's related to Sean Penn, but has never been able to prove it. Ivan Petrov. Yeah, Petroteva. He forgot to switch out his Ushanka before coming into the jungle and and sprinting up to a bunch of stairs. That's why he's sweating. Gregory Oliat. His arm is still freshly broken after being hit by a car during the escape incident. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he did get hit by a car, didn't he? Stoneface, you will never get an emotion out of his face. Quincy Tattle Muffin, his family has been in the Top Hat Clan for generations. They've never really made a name for themselves, though. Fred Worst, he really is just the worst. Nancy Popo, we already know what that is. She's been on a map. On a mountain climbing expeditions in the area. Nobody has attempted to map the mountains here. Ice climber. Let's see. Natasha Tayden. She hangs out with her pal Tra with her pal Travis at the tavern every week. Maybe one day she'll get the courage to ask him out. Travis de Groot. Ah, uh, Lord Tavish. Ah, nice to see you again. Please tell me you guys know what that's a re who that is. You please tell me you know you understand that reference. And we only got a few more pages left, guys. Okay, yep, Ryan got it. Yep, that is the Demo Man. He even kept the same name, De Groot. He lost his eye in an explosive incident. He used to be a mercenary, but gave up that life when the update stopped coming. <laughs> stopped, but he gave up that life when the update start stopped coming. <laughs> Oh, that's a hell of a shot. Shot right there, Puffball. Wow. Oh, no, we thought you knew about TF2. But, yeah, no, that it's, yeah, that is the, de that's a reference to the Demo Man from TF2. Oh, but, but, yeah, now that's a shot there, Puffball.
Josh Taylor, he's really excited to be a part of such a big mission. You could say he's a bit overconfident. Yeah, no, I get you, Arthur the Awesome Cat. Some people wouldn't get some people uh wouldn't get it at first unless you are really into the uh yeah. But yeah, no, it's it's no big deal, Arthur. It's, but still, I I love I love that definition. I love that description right there. Anyway, Drake Camper, a relatively new recruit. He hasn't learned all the ropes yet, including the one about loose lips sinking ships. Oh yeah, he talked a lot. Quentin Alabaster. He's had a couple greenhorns placed under his watch, and he's sick of baby to sitting them. Hank Stockman. He keeps calm in any situation, or at least it appears that way because of his sweet shades. Aiden Brock. He gets bored easily and realizes that making bets makes things more interesting. I feel like I should know that. I feel like I should, that's a reference to something, but I can't tell. <laughs> Mad lad? Are you serious? <laughs> He starts his day with a nice can of Kerpel Energy Drink. Wow, this guy's a real mad lad. <laughs> oh, I love this game. What a stalker. Andrew Cobbler, the engineer in charge of Big Boy. He got st stuck on an issue with it and hasn't been able to fix it in time for the raid. Dijon P Pangiano, the main operator of Big Boy. He's been coming to terms with not being able to pilot Big Boy into the raid today. Timothy Turner. He used to have two What <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, I got that. <laughs> oh, God. Some of the references in here. I love it. Oh, <laughs> I'm really getting my laughs in right now. Okay. Yep. Uh... Were they fairly odd parents? <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you, Puffball. I need th these have been pretty funny. Brock Hollowitz, just one more tour, and then I can go home and be with my family. I feel like that's a reference to something, but I'm not sure. Ellis B Botchin. I get it because of his chin. Iman's Ima one of the... No, I'm fine. It's, I've just been talking for a while. Give me a sec. My throat is a bit sore. But I've only got a couple, I've only got a couple pages to go. So, might as well finish up, right? He mans one of the many CCC mobile units. There are hundreds of these scattered throughout the world. Phantom. His suit allows him to turn invisible and he's able to pinpoint locations for nuclear strikes with his rifle. Oh, so that's what that does! Jesus, no wonder that was a... No wonder a nuke got dropped. Jose Gonzalez. Ha! He's been a gamer since 20, 2008, but only plays free-to-play games. You can catch him wearing the default hat. It, it's a bit of an inside joke, but basically you would... But basically anyone you see with the name Jose Gonzalez, at least in T Team Fortress 2, you can... It, it's basically a joke of you would call someone that... Uh, who's just... Uh, who just installed the game and has no idea what he's doing.
or or maybe or maybe that's a reference. It, it's a reference. It's a TF2 reference, basically. Jose Gonzalez. I think I think the Jose Gonzalez is either. I think it's just the old school the old school player. Now that I'm reading that right, yeah, I think Jose Gonzalez is the like old school player that just. Uh. Yeah. Peter Maryville. He always wears a helmet. You never know no when this you never know when a stray bullet might come flying. Uh did anyone spell check these? Because I feel like some of these I've been struggling to say. It should say a stray bullet. Auger Auger Crimp Crip. Auger Crip. Okay. Yeah. He has He has pretty good stats for the cost. He's also pretty good go with what can be targeted targeted adept. Beans. He's just thinking about those beans. Curly Brown, one of the smartest top hat members. He has a PhD in cartoon logic and physics. Nice. <laughs> oh, I get it. It's like Charlie Brown, I think. I think. Dr. Glass. He's actually... In, he's not actually a doctor. Actually, nobody calls him doctor. Can we get this title changed, please? Skeeve. This guy is CD, even for a top hat member. Keep this on the DL, but I heard they're planning to cut ties with him. Barry Bruh. When it comes to frantically clamoring for weapons, he can't be beat. Bruh! Bia number 503. Well, one of the many Bia's. He always strives to improve his hot his hot dog eating and bug collecting skills. Hmm. I'm not sure what that's a reference to. Hmm. Ellery. The fusion of Henry and Ellie. They have the fierceness of Ellie and the luck of Henry. Oh, so that's why they got beat so bad. Henry's luck is not that great. Ha! <laughs> nice, Arthur. Cabots. He towers over his other Top Hat members. He always engages in the pre-fight banter. Pop Top. He couldn't figure out how to fix his top hat, so people just call him Pop Top. Cool Joe. He managed to make it back after being locked up at the wall for several years. Good thing there was a breakout. Oh, yeah. Orange Hat Kid. He's also thought of a dance that also works great as an exercise move. Hmm. Toby Mac. This guy is too cool for schools. The ladies just can't stay away. Oh, he's that guy. Pasta Primarva. He's formed a crew here in the Topic Clan. They all got their start in Italy. Figro Mo... Mulligan Town one I can't read his name. Sorry. Planet part of a small Italian crew. They all joined the Top Hat Clan at the same time. Brumeza Lazan. Got it. Parmesan Lasagna. Him and his crew joined the Top Hat Clan at the behest of their boss. Link. He used to be a hero, but then he took an arrow to the chest and was, was and was in the hospital for three weeks. Ow! Okay, that's uh, that actually sounds better than an arrow to the knee. Lonk. He just lost the game. <laughs> Crabman. He claims the batteries in his back pocket give him great dancing abilities. Conky Dong. If he shoots ya, <laughs> it's gotta... 
<laughs> okay. Oh, God, the references. Oh, God, I love it. If he shoots ya, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> He's big. Oh, I get it, cause he was doing, cause he was doing this. Very clever. Mister Unstoppable. He's been extremely lucky since you joined the top ads. Will it last? Jonathan Bravo. I don't know if it's intentional or not, but he sounds like it sounds exactly like Elvis Presley. Do the monkey with me. Come on. Sorry. Cowboy. He couldn't come up with a very interesting nickname. He just got fixated on the word cowboy, so he's out of Siggy. His top hat is actually a giant cigarette. He's gotta make sure he oh he stays away from fire. Why would you make your top hat out of a cigarette? Just why? Why would you do that? What made you decide to do that? Why make your top hat in out of a giant cigarette? Uh, Tommy Partridge. He will help top at raid plans by creating animatics that break down all the details of the plan to aid success. Sleepy Dog. Hang around him too long and you start acting funny. Nice. I wish for a game that's super powerful. That's super powerful that you can't wish out of. Oh, wow, I see. I see what you mean, Arthur. Well, he got his wish, didn't he? Yeah, you're right, Ar Arthur. He got his wish, didn't he? Okay, and that is everything. I have gotten... I have gotten all... I've gotten all the fails, all the achievements, and all the bios for every single episode. And I've gotten, I have read every single bio for you guys. I hope that you guys really appreciated it. That took way longer than I thought it would. So, yeah, so yeah, that is it. That is it. For everything guys I there's nothing left to do with this game so yeah this was a lot this was a lot of fun to do and I really appreciate all the support you guys gave me hello Raymond welcome to the hello Raymond were you here the whole time or did you just get here uh but yeah so there's literally nothing left to do for this game like not four hours but it feel like it took me two just to read all that so yeah, so thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you guys have really, have really enjoyed. Uh, I see Raymond. Uh, but yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm actually about to, but I'm actually about to call it because I, there's literally nothing left to do with this game right now. I have 100%ed it completely. I've read all the bios, and now my throat's actually getting sore from talking so much. Blech. Anyway, so I hope that I hope that you guys really enjoyed this. Uh, thank you so much for all the support for as I was playing through the Henry Stickman collection, and I hope that you guys look forward. Oh yeah, no, I've been streaming for four hours, Arthur, but uh, but I was reading those for two of those. I was reading all those bios for two hours. Uh, the the rest of them was me finishing up completing the mission because. Uh, yeah, I wasn't able to finish it last night. So, 
Thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope that you guys really enjoyed. Thank you all so much for the support. Seriously, I've never had this many viewers consistently uh, before. Like ten, like I've had, I've been having ten viewers through most of this. So thank you everyone so much for all the support. It really means a lot to to see that you really enjoyed me, enjoyed watching me play the Henry Stickman collection. What does Chelsea want? Hello. You, you do you not have any? Uh, okay. Hang on. Oh boy. Oh, before I end it, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that, but, but yeah, uh, yeah, sorry, I had to take care of something really quick, but yeah, so, this was, I'm just saying this right now, thank you so much for all the support, guys, it really means a lot, and I hope that you guys enjoyed my reactions to all the fails and everything else in this game, but yeah, uh, it's time to put this game back on the shelf, it was a lot of fun to play through and react and just watch all the craziness and yeah and special thanks to puffball for making these games and for finishing up completing the mission i know this one took a long time and i could see why so <clears throat> so yeah i have so yeah um uh, there's really nothing left to do this game's uh this game's 100 percent done so thanks so much for watching guys I hope you really enjoyed. I'm not going to be streaming tomorrow. I'm honestly not going to be streaming tomorrow because in all honesty, uh, I, uh, not many people really watch me on Fridays anymore because everyone's busy. So I'm thinking about moving around my schedule. So yeah, I'm not going to be streaming tomorrow. I'm just going to be relaxing and yeah. So thanks again so much for watching everyone. I hope you really enjoyed uh, watching me play through the Henry Stickman collection and I hope you look forward to the next stream but until then everyone thanks so much for watching thanks for all the support and I hope you really enjoyed and until then everyone this is Omega Snake signing out and I'll see you guys next time good night everybody and seriously thanks so much for the support thanks for watching me Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I did not do that right. Wait, hold on. Let me turn this off so I can finally put my sound back on. Good night, everybody.